I am Mark, your kind and generous dungeon master. And if you are sitting comfortably, we shall begin. Our heroes have signed aboard the Amketch, a caravan of the merchant house of Kyrodius, bound for Alteruk from the city-state of Nibane. Kyrodius, leader of the eponymous merchant house, has asked them to look into the issue of beetle trade, illicit beetle trade, shakat beetles that are being smuggled aboard her caravans. The shakat beetles have been altered in some way to make their bite suppress psionics in those who are bitten. And our heroes are masquerading as caravan guards and passengers aboard the Amketch to try and get to the bottom of things. Quite literally in this case, as they ended last session by burrowing through the floorboards in search of a hidden compartment which is supposed to hide the beetles. Through the floorboard hole, Dar J descended, and with a little bit of uh, help from his companions, he located the hidden compartment that has the beetles in it, and was just in the process of digging them out, when surprise, surprise, he triggered an unseen trap, and the entrance to the hidden compartment opened from the outside, and the caravan master, Lalarash, joined by the head of the guards, half giant halt at Fen, and a couple of his minions bust in upon him. Well, Lalarash says, it looks like we've discovered our smugglers. And on that bombshell, we ended the previous session. And it is thus we begin the current one with Lalarash staring down at you, Dajay, quite literally as you sit there Beetles in hand, as I recall, you were taking infected beetles out and replacing them with normal beetles that had been retrieved from the wilderness. The caravan master stares down at you, arms crossed. The half giant commander glowers. Daji worked alone. <laughs> He looks up, as I've already pointed out at the end of the last session, through the hole in the floorboards that you'd burrowed. And uh, <laughs> Suxus is quite literally there, handing you beetles down from the uh, from the chamber above, um, the passenger room in which you've been uh, in, been residing. Daje has never seen this one. <laughs> hmm. A moment, hold hat, Lana says. Mm. It seems that you are looking for the same thing that we are. Huh. A likely story. Oh. Just how valuable are these beetles to you, my reptilian friends? Hmm? How much is it worth to you for me to look the other way? We are all men of the world here. L lizards of the world. Business people, at any rate. Perhaps we can come to an agreement. Hmm? You are mistaken. Am I really? We were sent by, by the Lady Kurodias to find exactly out what was going on here. <laughs> of course you were. Of course you were. Look, think about it. Yeah? This compartment, as you can see, is well-crafted. And it's clearly something that is not being improvised into this into this RRC. It's been put there for uh, by people who are actually part of this caravan. Both you and my group only joined just now on the trip. So you know that we didn't put it there. How do I know that you have not been working with whoever did put it there? That they told you where to look? It seems a little convenient that you happen to have stumbled across it so readily, wouldn't you say? No, that's <laughs> very clearly within our skill set. Uh, we have a druid on board. Yeah. Oh, I see. So I, Thicket's involved in this as well, is he? I stay out of sight. <laughs> <laughs> I am the druid. I'm not talking about Thicket. Uh, you're a trader. We know Thick is the Druid because he's been providing healing services to our... Yes, uh... and so can I. At this moment, on the upper floor, uh, three of the guards come striding down the hallway toward the passenger chamber where the rest of you are uh, 
are situated. And as I recall correctly, Siora and Scathis are outside. That's correct. Are you guys okay. making yourself scarce or what? Uh, Carl, thank you. Let me handle that, please. Um, so, as the guards stride up, is there anything that you two do? I imagine we have, seeing them approach, we have a very loud confrontation with each other. Right. Oh. <laughs> Which will then signal our friends that there are people coming without being like sneaks inside to the guards, which would be very suspicious. Yeah. So what exactly do you say or do to alert your fellows? Yeah, what? I caught you snooping in my coin purse. I have a problem with that. I love that you can just look over. <laughs> I wanted to know if you were doing anything suspicious. Why would I be doing anything suspicious? I'm just a passenger on this place. I do not trust you. Look at you. The way you manipulate others. How dare you imply that I am manipulative? <laughs> do the guards keep approaching or do they like uh, they've stopped at this moment kind of looking at because you are indeed in uh, blocking the doorway for them one of them says oh have you come to look at my coin purse as well is this what you do on this ship uh, no we need to get through into the passenger chamber please stand aside oh so you want to look through the rest of my bags is that why you want to get into the passenger chamber the guard, no. you guards are wanting to come into the passenger <laughs> chain. <laughs> we are guards of this caravan. We reserve the right to look through any of your belongings if we have reason to think they are suspicious. Don't so. you think you should ask permission? I'm like blocking the door. I'm like, <laughs> dare you? I haven't talked to Laloresh. One of them looks over to you, Scathis. Um, uh, uh, open the door, please, uh, sir given that you've been appointed the de facto head of their uh, of their squad. Oh, so you want to be the one who pushes around Lalaresh's um, girlfriend? You want to be the one who gave the order for that? Do you think he's going to be happy about that? Uh, at this, there's a, an abs a, a, absolute moment of pausing for thought. Look at each other. The one at the back's like, girlfriend? She got a girlfriend. <laughs> slaps him. <laughs> Do you know who my boyfriend is? <laughs> Do you know? He's going to be furious when he hears about this. Uh, speaking of which, in the passenger chamber itself, Senex, Suxis, Thicket, you've heard not only the com com kerfuffle coming up through the floorboards, but also the uh, highly believable and convincing kerfuffle coming from the hallway outside as well. Um, if there's anything you, the, th the three of you want to do, um, please go ahead. I'll try to think um, what we can do. I mean... I'm going to pretend like I'm sleeping. <laughs> You three <laughs> <laughs> loud audible snoring no uh I, I i'm just gonna kind of hide in a corner and and and, and try to think of something clever <laughs> okay right good yeah okay so nothing good uh, anything from sanix or success um <laughs> so, you know, let's get ahead of ourselves I, okay? I'm, I'm, just, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking to the rush yeah, yeah sanix i i'm just sitting on one of the beds it's not really much we can do. We're stuck in here. What, what, there's no okay. escape, is there? Right. Um, back briefly then to uh, to Darje. I'm playing die six. still. All right. Do you have any proof of your assignation by the Lady Carodius? A letter of Mark, perhaps? Her seal? Anything? fact that she came and, and, and summoned us from the gate. She didn't want to be... Uh, Do you have uh, any proof of that, either? No, I thought... Her word. Her word has not been given. Only yours. But... Look. See what we're doing here. Show, show what, what we're doing. We're at the moment we're trying to switch three 
regular Beatles with three of those changed Beatles. We're not doing anything else. He leans into the uh, into the storage compartment. I see. I see. Right. Well, this uh, raises an interesting question. Why was I not informed? I I don't know. Maybe Lady Corodias thought to to approach a two pronged tactic. I don't know. I, I I've done nothing to nothing to raise her suspicions of me. I well, I I, I single handedly secured the retrieval of her goods from Outpost Three. It doesn't it doesn't make sense. No, no, knowing her type, she is thorough. Dajay would, would assume everyone is suspect. She would say, she would trust, but she would verify, and this is her verification. Not relying on one single source. What of your investigations? How, how many of you are in on this? How many more of you are up there? Is um is um is a uh, is you a part of this? sideways, not directly. Right, you mean um, all of that was... It doesn't matter. Um, what, are, what, have your, um, what have your investigations revealed? Well, we haven't found much beyond this. The Beatles were on the, on the, on the, on the caravan since we left Nibine, we checked. Um, so they weren't inserted into the caravan after we left. They were either put on board before the Argosy arrived at uh, Herodias' caravan Sarai or at the caravan Sarai itself. Are they being watered or fed? Or? Well, that, that's the other thing. The way the Beatles were hidden here in, 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 in such a properly crafted uh, pre-existing secret area in the, the Argosy, so not hidden among the cargo in somebody's luggage, it kind of indicates that it was uh, done by somebody who is part or has been for some time of this particular caravan also um well as i already argued before that incidentally rules out our group and it rules out you lala rash because yes. we only we only recently joined the caravan yes uh, yes you're quite right everyone else has been with the amcatch for some time well um and then we've got the uh, uh our, our continued monitoring uh of this uh this particular hatch once we lo once we localize the the source of the beetles. I see. He looks uh, over to a halt at Fen with an accusing glare. The half giant <clears throat> stares down at him like, really? Um, so uh, we could only see that uh, that the, the, the people who had access were um, what's his name the the master of the storage and his slaves. Dalgra. Dalgra and his slaves. They were the only one who had access uh, in that period. Uh, visibly. Uh, that doesn't mean that it doesn't exclude somebody who went in invisibly. But another thing is that we've been checking up on the Beatles and their states. They haven't been fed for a while, so it could also just mean that the person who's actually taking care of them uh, was not uh, has not been in the compartment yet since we started our journey. So... Um, have you um, have you questioned Dalgra? No, we haven't yet uh, talked to anybody. We didn't want to show our, our our cards and we had hoped to do this particular thing invisibly to ex already extract some of the beetles uh, as proof that's what we were doing here mm. i'll so speak to dalgra and see what i can learn why don't you um why don't you bring one of our people along just to help uh, you no, that won't be necessary. I'd like you to fix the floorboards, please. Yeah, that's we'll be easy. arriving at, at Fort Calvis in a day or so. So when did you put the trap here? I think it's better if I'm the one asking the questions. You've given a good story. But you're not entirely about suspicion. 
Let's draw a line under this for now. I'll look into the matter further. Once we reach Fort Calvis, I'll see if I can get word back to the Lady Carodius to confirm what your account claims. If what I'm saying is true and what you are saying is true, it would actually be very much um, to our benefit if not everybody uh, on the caravan is aware of what we just did here. So you still have a chance to capture the person if he's going to keep the, he or she is going to keep the Beatles. I agree. I'm going to keep this between us. Halt it. I'm assuming your men will behave professionally. Halt it nods. If they don't, I'll have the lizard flog another one. Good. I'll question Dalgra discreetly. I'll report back to you if there's any findings of value. Fair enough. Look, we didn't willingly go on this mission. Herodias made us. Yes, yes. Well, you were somewhat walked into that one, I think. Yeah, well, just to, to, so you understand why we're here, it's not that <laughs> we were actually soliciting for this particular job. I suppose we'll see, won't we? Absolutely. Um, I have one other question that I really... Um, really have that only for you, nobody else. I'll trouble you to remember that you're a passenger and I am the caravan master. Nobody else needs to hear this question, just you. Hmm. Halt it, would you? Yes, Captain. Half giant turns and beckons his men, strides away. What are we going to deliver to have shown? I beg your pardon? What are we going to deliver to have shown? You're going to have to be a little bit more specific. Well, our research also uncovered uh, an agreement between you and Haoshom for a delivery. Your research? Yes. You mean you went snooping in my quarters? Obviously. Hmm. Huh. The steel short swords of a Haoshom. How did that come to be? How did the deal come to be? They're a trading house. No, no, I get that. But when when did it was the deal made? The timing might be of essence. It will it will it would be a deviation from the, the, the journey of this caravan, right? No. Okay. They have a they have representatives in Alterok. I presume they're going to sell them from there. Okay. Good. Okay, then then we have no more leads. That's is it. What we've come up since so if far. I have any further indication that you've been sticking your scaly snout into my quarters or my belongings, you will take I it will up. With, you will take it up with Lady Corolias, please. No, I will have you staked out into the sun to in the sun to die. Do you understand me? Now, there's no more need to for anything you're a anymore. You're a passenger aboard this Argo, see. Mm -hmm. Remember your place and fix the damn boards. He turns and slams the door of the storage compartment behind him. That cunt. Was he lying? What do you think? Upstairs, <laughs> a guard comes trotting up, unless Scathis. You force the way into the passenger compartment. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'm, I could see that. I was I was asked to uh, yeah. uh, open the door before, and Siora was blocking okay. my path. And after a certain point, Scathis would just take her by the shoulder and push her aside. Out of my way. Force his way in. Did we have placed I something make... over the hole? Yeah, yeah, no, I no, make... if, if we get an action... Well, sure, I, Carl, yeah, please, yeah. you've had three or four rounds of actions. Exactly, yeah. Carry on, Panda. Oh, no, I was just going to say, if I'm able to... Um, when he shoves me, mm -hmm. I'm going to make, like, I'm going to go flying. I'm going to make a scene. <laughs> and I'm going to pretend to be very injured and try and, like, as he opens the door, I want the guard's attention on me. Like, I want them to, like, I don't know. Okay, well, two of them stride right past you into the uh, into the passenger chamber. One of them is like, oh, <laughs> oh my lady, let me help you, let me help you. And uh, tries to help you to your feet, um, overly solicitous. The other... Two are yeah well, barge past you, Scathis, into the uh, into the passenger chamber. Right, um, what have you done to the floor? One of them says. Uh ticket here got angry that he lost a dice. Ticket, repair it, please. I'll, I'll... Why is your lizard down there? He fell on looking top of the, the dice. Hole. Looking for the dice. That jit is his own lizard. What are you doing down there? Well, we're about to climb back up. Get up here. Did you find the dice, Scathis? Or Scathis, uh, Dexis. Uh, uh, the same. Dodge, did you, did you find the dice? That's a bit racist. <laughs> <laughs> One guy's Literally. talking about your lizard, another guy's confusing Scathis. <laughs> One of them is orange and the other one is dark purple. I mean, it's like it couldn't be more different if you That's try. So it's, 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 fa it's very understandable for, 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 to us. You are all food anyway, so that's good. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Dodge found the dice. And he takes out, I guess, one of his own. Oh, oh I, get to do, I get to do the spell. I get to do the spell. I get to do the spell. I cast straighten wood. <laughs> Do you let Darje emerge out of the hole before you straighten the wood? Yes, of course. Okay, so I guess Darje, you clamper back up. Yes. All right, the guards look at each other, at you. They have no idea what it is they've walked into. And as I say, a couple of moments later, another one comes up the hallway to, to recall them. Are you uh, looking to join, throwing your own ceramics? Um, Captain Fenn wants... Uh, Wants us back in on position, one of the guards says. The others nod. So scared, the third one Captain who's then the third Of course. You pull that guy's head clean off two trips ago. Scared of Captain Fenn. What's wrong with you? Mm. One of them checks to make sure you're alright, Siora, um, before they head off. Uh, they give you somewhat sloppy salutes, Scathis. And uh, leave you entirely uh, effective and efficient conspirators to your own devices. So oh, the, the Beatles, Darje. I pass them over. Put them in the in the, in the Beetle box that I prepared. Does yeah, okay. Darje yeah. follow Ladash to his meeting? He'll think he's in on it. Well, it's probably what? a good idea to check out what he does. Yeah. Yes. What happened? Well, we got caught, didn't we? <clears throat> How did you keep from getting imprisoned or lashed or worse? Coming clean? He accused us of being the smugglers. I explained to him why we're not. So he knows? Yeah. The thing is, let's think about this. <laughs> he, he clearly knows that the the bugs are behind that wall. Yes. Of course, he's in on it. Well, and he mentioned sending Carodius a letter as soon as he gets back. Of course, he's going to, and I wonder what's going to be in that. I found the culprits. He's well, there to set us up like he has already. I, I I tried to make it very clear to him that if he tries to pull a fast one on us. He will still have to explain it to Lady Carodius. 
because she will be asking questions. I'm sure she must have her hands on a powerful telepath to get the truth out of it. Right. I do not have well, that power knows... yet. Well, she must know we're not involved. We weren't even around the previous Argosies, so... I'm not even sure she cares that we're involved or not. She wants an answer to her question. That's the only thing she wants. But, well, look. Uh, we have a setback and, well, at least we survived. You might say that, but I'm probably going to get thrown out into the sun. Why? Well, he knows that I've been playing with him. He, well, he doesn't. I, I told him that he were only side, sideways in, involved in this. You can still claim that uh, your 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 uh, affections uh, for him uh, were uh, were were genuine. You just to sell it well. I'm sure, that should be no problem for you. Well, I'm relieved that cover wasn't blown at least. <clears> Hard <throat> to keep to get out of it as well. But yeah, Star J, go and find out what's being said. I can imagine they're both in on it. The J will find out. If that is the case. Don't get caught. Again. Okay. He scamp is off. Alright. <clears throat> Lucky little so... scamp. <laughs> You're gonna try and track Lalarash down where he's uh, speaking to to Dalgra. Yeah, but I'm not gonna follow Lalarash. I'm gonna follow Dalgra. Right. Okay. So Dalgra is busy going about his uh, his nighttime duties. He's actually in and out of that compartment a couple of times, uh, as I mentioned before, getting the various tools and supplies necessary to um, to tend to the bits and bridles for the Mechalots to make repairs to the Argosi wheels. Uh, he stops off to get a, uh, a small bowl of kip curry. And it's when he's on his way to his own quarters um, that Lalarash asks for a, a moment of his time. Um, so I'm just going to want a move silently roll from you, please. E God. Okay. <laughs> Why, Ma? Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this to us? Just to make sure that you're not a overtly noticed okay whichever i mean basically of uh, move silently or hide in shadows whichever is highest um hide in shadows is 60 percent now move silently is only 40 so yeah, i'm gonna move, do... use hide in shadows yeah yeah there's enough noise around to conceal your uh your approach 60 percent whoa hey there we go that's a success nice let's go done. <clears throat> you uh, position yourself nicely in the shadows and <clears throat> blend into the wall. It's very simple. You hear Lalarash saying. Firstly, you're a slave. And you can be sold just like one of those mechalots out there. Secondly, I am considerate. So, my proposal is this. You disavow all knowledge of the compartment. Never mind who has access, who doesn't have access. You know nothing about it. And this is yours. And he extends a pouch. You can hear the clink of metal inside. The mole stares at Lalarash for a minute. As you wish, master. And takes the pouch. Lalarash pulls it back at the last second. Remember, not a word the moon nods again 
Lalarash deposits the pouch in his hand with a chink. Good evening to your master of cargo. He says and turns away. Good evening to you, commander. The mole says to his departing back. Weighs the pouch, pouch once or twice in his hands, deposits it into his tunic, and goes about his business. Walks quite literally right past where you're spread against the wall, without noticing you at all. Picture these two eyeballs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, hmm? yeah. <laughs> totally. Exactly. Okay. That's so I guess you report this back to your companions? Yes, yeah, so I scuttle my way back to uh, we in the passenger deck? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, back I go. I think you're Randall from Monsters, Inc., aren't you? A little bit, yeah. A little bit of that. Except more murdering, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Um, Daji followed them. And? They both know about the Beatles, the compartment. Lalarash. He pays the mull off. Do not speak a word of it. What did he give him? Gold in a pouch. Did you can get it? You want it? Oh, it's evidence. Dodge, I can get it. So we have a problem there, don't we? We need to tell Kyrodius before he does. Well, will we still get a chance? Because this, this caravan is going in a different direction than Kyrodius. And we're very close to... Uh, to the, the fort, whatever it is. Fort, fort Calvis, I'll put the map up. Yeah. We don't even know where Carodius is, right? In the Nibine, where, where else would she be? That's where we left her. <clears throat> so you guys, are, you guys are about here. You can see on the map there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fort Calvis is right there. So, I mean, you'll be there at the end of the next day. Now, um, you may or may not recall this from... Uh... <clears throat> Uh, pop that overlay on Twitch, would you? There you go. Thanks. Um, you may or may not recall this from uh, the the letter you um, copied, but um, Lalarash is supposed to speak to a Shom agent in Calvis. So he has that lined up for himself as well. Yeah. Yeah, he was talking about the short sword, but that was not at all what we were referring to. Surely he wasn't lying about the short sword. No, he could never. A respectable gentleman such as him. Uh-uh. What is our ultimate plan here? We are in not in a favorable position. We have lost no, all not. element of surprise. We have nothing to prove our innocence or as of yet his guilt. Even if we were to get such evidence, what will we do? Well, to be fairly honest, I'm more scared of that lady in Nibine than I am of this uh, twat. He's a coward and he seems easy to kill. Yes, it's more the, the half giant I'm a little bit uh, I worried about. I think we need to give Lolarash a bit more credit than he's due. He seems to be a very intelligent and snidey individual. Yes, but... He's got this far in life. All his intelligence won't dodge a poison, poison bolt. No, but then that doesn't prove our innocence either. Well, his dead corpse <clears throat> will. It is not only the half-giant, but I am certain other guards, including the Outriders, would side against us. Absolutely. The only way that we actually get... get get away with it is killing Lalarash and dragging his corpse back to Nibine. Um, 
there then be we much lose. Left. Then we lose the potential questioning. We know he's not the only one involved. Well, we there don't know others. for sure. We don't know for sure what this whole beetle thing is about, and we don't know whether he knows. Uh, and I we might have ruined charm him. I can try and charm him. Yeah. Uh, Jay would say that Lalarash probably knows about the beetles. He knows about the compartment. He knows about the trade, but what does he know what, what the beetles are there for and who it, who they're from and all that? We don't know that. Killing him will not give us the answer. No. I, I have Captain Fenn's. I have Captain Fenn's trust right now, but I feel this could be easily lost. Hmm. I'm at loss. We speak to the mole. <clears throat> you mentioned that he was a slave. He is Lalarash's slave. So, <clears throat> you have a few options before you then. One way or the other, the caravan will reach Fort Calvis the next evening. You have the possibility of seeing if you can find out who it is that Lala Rash is due to meet there. You have the very viable possibility of simply killing him and questioning his corpse. Do you have speak with the dead, um, Thicket? Not yet. Um, Have a look. It's fourth level. No. It's fourth level. So I no. do. I do. A third level cosmos. Third level divination. Nice. Um. You have them all. And yes, you have the the trust of uh, at the very least Captain Fenn. So my immediate question to you then is: Do you take any immediate action, or do you wait it out until the caravan reaches? Uh, <clears throat> reaches Fort Calvis. Immediate for the mall, I think. Get to him early. Well, we can do things in, in quick succession. Um, if the mall thing doesn't work out, then maybe uh, we go for either uh, either of the other two uh, options. I think we should try charming either the mall or, the, or Lalarash. Having them more pliable would make it easier to get information out of them. I think just speaking to the mall normally I think will be enough. The fact that we already know that he's been bribed. The mole is most likely to give answer. Okay, let's go for it. Who's, who's going to, to, to question the mole? It all go. I would like to lower the risk of losing my cover if he reports back to Lalaresh. Yeah. So you don't want to be part of it? No. Maybe I can keep Lalaresh busy while you question him, though. <laughs> be careful. Be careful in your charming of Lalaresh that you do not give him more information than he needs. Someone, and he continue, He does not break eye contact with Siora. Someone spoke to him of discontent with the Outriders, and an innocent man had to be whipped. Poor Larry. Jerry. Jerry. I'm not an idiot, Scathis. And I'm sure Jerry had it coming. I am sure that you might have it coming, but if your milk blood would not give you away, then perhaps I would do the job myself. There's no need for all of this. The um, Dodge gets in between them. We, 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 we should try and keep uh, a discontent within our group uh, to a minimum, shall we? 
fine. It's not constructed. I didn't but realize. When he, makes, when he makes that noise, by the way, pick it flinches. No. <laughs> Yora, you do realize that you might need to apologize to Scathis. I was about to get to that. I am sorry, Scathis, that you had to do that. And I apologize. It was the only thing I could think of at the time. I didn't realize that such a cowardly man would make someone be flayed in such a way. It was foolish of me, and I apologize. And I will do what I can to make it up to you. We are in a difficult position, and I understand you did what you thought you had to. You can make it up to me simply by being more careful. And it is done. And I will, like, kind of, like, bow to him. And then turn around and, you know, get my things ready to go back to my, uh nicer room and just like with like a like a really angry like pissed off face like <laughs> <laughs> okay so you um perhaps try not to stamp make your way up from the passenger compartment onto the upper level um it's as you're kind of opening your door that lala rashes opens on the other opposite side of the hallway ah so you're right. i i i heard you at your door Um, perhaps, um, um, might I, uh, have a, a glass of, um, of Astacles wine with you, um, before we retire for the night? I would really like that, actually. I had quite an unpleasant experience with your guards earlier. So I understand. Come, you can tell me about it. I, um, I've had an unpleasant experience of my own. I'm so sorry. Do you want to talk about it? Yes. Yes, I think I do. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he invites you into his caravan and the door... Boom, oh, I'm his scared. Chamber, the door swings shut. Uh, so who was going to go and talk to Dalgra? Yeah, I will with I'll join. I'll, I'll join. Pick it. Scathis? Uh, Scathis can't uh, I... Well. I Yeah, know. I have to maintain my cover as a caravan guard. Okay. Alright, so um Should I maintain so next... my cover as a healer? You what? Wait, I'm I'm just the healer. So just Senex, uh Zuxis and Darjay then? Yeah, it's probably better. Okay. All right. Well, um, Dalgor is not hard to find at this time of the evening. Uh, he's in the communal quarters um, with the other, uh, the other, I say, senior slave staff. Um, Quen, the master of provisions. Um, Vashara, the dwarven driver. You're going to just talk to him in... In the, the the communal slaves, the senior slaves quarters, I ask him to step outside. How do you want to approach? Uh, step outside, yeah. His name's name Dalga. Dalgra. 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 Yeah. Dalgra. May we have a word? What about? I'm busy. He's like sitting on his bunk. Clearly not busy at all. Outside, please. Why? We'd like to ask you some questions. What about? Life. <clears throat> the, <clears throat> a lizard nice. snout goes, comes very close to his ear about a certain pouch that you have received. And then moves back. You know, they say talk is cheap. With his his life. I was a gladiator in tear, you sad old man. Tear. I remember that place vaguely. Yeah. Fine. 
I will find out what you have to say and how much you're willing to pay for my answers. <clears throat> he stands and cracks his neck. He's gone thick around the midriff, but his neck is like a bull cigarettes. His shoulders are immense wadges of muscle. You can see the scars all across his body that give the truth to the rumor that he was indeed once a gladiator. He follows you out into the hall. Scathis, you're, I guess, doing the rounds of the uh, of the camp that night. That's correct. And Fen comes and tracks you down. Scathis, do you have a moment? Of course, Captain. You've been good and reliable. And I have respected that by giving you authority and responsibility. I want you to respect that decision back, back at me. Uh, he these, looks uneasy. These people you signed on with. Are they spies for Lady Chirodius? Are, are you? Out of respect for you. Yes. <sighs> Why? Lady Chirodius gave us no choice. What are you looking for? Someone on her caravans is smuggling beetles. You see, I already knew the answer to that question. That was a test, Scathis. His half-giant intellect is almost overpowering, but you manage to uh, to conceal your shock. Very well, clever, sir. Uh, well done. Now, I have another question. Do you think it's Lalarash? Lalarash pours the wine into the two glasses. Hands you I'll one. Go back. I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> Toasts you. Drinks. Swirls the wine in the glass. There you go. Swirling. Not sponsored by. <laughs> I, uh, I'll... I'll, uh... If it doesn't look tampered with, I'll drink it. Okay. Today's drinks are sponsored by Mulworm Slime. <laughs> I caught your um, companions, friends, snooping around the caravan. There's some talk of um, of smuggling. I won't bore you with the details. But uh, something else came to light during our discussion. I try and look extremely betrayed and confused as he's saying this to me. If at any point you're activating your daily use of the perfect lie, you just let me know. I yeah, I'm 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 unaware. Of this whole thing is is my perfect lie is that I'm okay, not so you involved. draw upon the inner reserves to completely maintain the right level of head posture voice tone body language and it came to my attention well, in fact Suxis admitted to it that they'd been in here rifling through my personal belongings and you see the funny thing is, the only person who has a key is me. Except 
the other day I came back here and the door was unlocked. You think and they I'll... pickpocketed their way in? Lockpicked? Well, I'm not a stupid man, Siora, and um, I'm wealthy enough to own a mirror. And so when, well, when someone like you pays the sort of attention that you've been paying to someone like me, and then I hear the sorts of things that I've been hearing, it makes me wonder whether whether you've been playing me for a fool. How's your wine? My wine is good. Can no. you uh, make me a saving throw against poison, please? No! What? What? No! I was about to give an excuse! What? No! Oh no! Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know if that's, that's good. Is that's that... terrible. Re no, no. <laughs> Remember, you can't add four to it. That's. Will that help me? <laughs> no, then it'll put you at a seven, Oof. as opposed to the twelve that you need. You feel a thick, milky taste in the back of your throat. I um. Yikes. I uh. Mm. He reaches into a pouch and produces a small vial of pale blue liquid. I You're thought that the best antidote <laughs> to deceit would be to remove the desire to lie. You're not different. Just like the others, I thought you were different. Hmm. The feeling runs both ways, my dear. He puts it on the table in front of him. Now, perhaps you might like to tell me what it is you do know. Dagra joins you in the hallway outside his uh, uh, slave quarters crosses his arms and leans back against the wall. So, what is it you want to know? Look, we know that you've been bought off by Lalarash. We know that you're a slave. We know what's going on regarding these beetles. But we need to get the right information so we can take Lalarash down. We know you've been paid off, as I said. But if you want to be continue to be manipulated by him, then carry on. If you need money to pay you off, to get the right information, then I'm sure we can try to come to an arrangement. But we 30. need the information. 30 silver. How much is that in ceramics? That's 300 ceramics. Okay, and that will get <clears> you to, <throat> to talk, yes? 30 silver. Wrong yeah. going back to my bunk. We have what that. about your freedom? Yes. How much would that cost? With 30 silver and what Lala Rush has given me, I'm sure I'll have enough to make a good start somewhere far away from here. And he will let you go? <laughs> he can try and stop me. Sounds oh, to me like he's going to let Lalarash go. I'll snap his willowy neck with one hand. I like the sound of that. Fine, 30 silver. I will... Let's see it. I will hand over 300 ceramic...
You have 300 ceramic, yeah? I have 691, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> this old man at the just counting 300 pieces. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all in beads. <laughs> but when he's when he's actually counting it, he looks very spry. No, it's like it's like the guy at the checkout counter who's counting pennies. And he's, he's no, like no, no, really no. He slowly. might look That's old. Exactly. In your That's eyes, exactly he's what very I'm imagining. old. He gets to like 25, loses count, has to start again. Like, it's like when a pe yeah. pensioner uh -oh. comes to the bank with a pla plastic bag full of. Uh, Can you yeah. count okay. it for me, my dear? <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, I had it over. I swear to God, I've met that person. <laughs> We're becoming that person, aren't I? That's the cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I meant. <laughs> <laughs> of course I know him. He's me. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the mall takes the money. Nods. Ask away. The Beatles, where are they going to? Who's in charge of this whole smuggling operation? The Beatles are going to Alter Rock. Okay. Lala Ash is running it at the moment. They, yeah. um, there's a number of them. Three different caravan captains. What are their names? Lalarash. Hylos. And Fudara. I write these numbers, these names down on a parchment. <clears throat> Everybody stares in shock at your illiteracy. Yes, my literacy. <laughs> yes. What was the last name? Fodara. And who are they actually stay. selling them to? For what reason? Not sure. But Shom is uh, bankrolling it. All right. That much I do know. And they, they've been doing this for a while? A couple of months. And where do they get the Beatles and where do they drop them off? They got delivered in Ibanez. They go to Alterook. That's Before it. that, beyond that, I don't know. Do you know of any meetups uh, at uh, with Harshon before they they hit uh, Alterook? Yeah, probably one going to happen in Calvis tomorrow. Yes, know about that one. Right. What happens there? Updates. Checking in before the final leg. Any problems, you can expect yourselves to come up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, they're, are they behind, they're in force or what? No, I don't think so. It's a Talaxa stronghold. So Shom can't uh, be there in any great numbers. Alterox okay. a different matter. That's a free city. Yeah. Town, whatever. Keeps getting knocked down and rebuilt. So, who else is in the, in the caravan here? I don't know. You've been feeding the Beatles for La Yeah. That's the only thing you were told to do? Yeah, that's it. But, um... How, how do you been, feed them? You, you, blood. Get it off the mechalots. Right. Just... Underwear where the harnesses chafe them. You can put it on rags and stuff. Nobody notices. No. I'm writing all this down, by the way. Yeah. You got any more questions? Because... Is there anything else you think would be helpful in? for us to take Lalarash? Lalarash? <laughs> Lalarash is your clue. He's the only connection you've got to how Shom. You take him down, the whole thing collapses. And you're left with nothing. You think you can go up against how Shom? Have you ever seen someone from how Shom? 
No one has. They don't even appear in public. Their agents run everything. They're using House Corodius to get this little thing done. And then they're going to crush her. There'll be nothing left. They'll take her caravans. They'll take her slaves. They'll take her cargo. And she'll be like any number of upstart houses that try to carve a piece out in Libane. She's already signed her death warrant. Tyrians. Too stupid to know when they're dead. <clears throat> now, if you're done, I've got some bags to pack. Yeah, you need to get out of here. Good luck on your travels. Because, let's let's be honest, between you and me, he was never going to let you keep that bag of uh, coins, was he? Well, I guess we'll never find out, will we? Good on you. I wish you a happy life. <laughs> he turns and starts back off to his compartment. Someone needs to mute. Oh, sorry. Scathis. The half-giant stares down at you, waiting for your answer. Do you think it's Lalarash? He has the most suspicion from us so far. I don't like it. Lady Corodius is good to me. I say we kill him. I would like nothing more than to kill him and be done with it. But we might need him to learn more. Ah. <sighs> That is cunning. That is like when you let a little, a little animal loose, like a, a kip or a zatal, or a, or a, or a, or a zatal, and then a bigger animal comes along to eat it, like a jackar, or a leer, or a. Bait, or a, yes. Bait, there's a word for it, yes. <laughs> Lalarash is bait. <sighs> he claps you on the shoulder. I made the right choice with you, Scathis. <laughs> And what about you, Captain Finn? Is there anyone you suspect? Yes. Arazo. There's no way he can have such so little respect and still be allowed to serve. He must know. That is why Lalarash allows him to show me so little respect. And perhaps he gives different orders because he has a different mission. Yes. Yes. Oh, I must think on this. Take your time. <laughs> then you go back to your friends and you tell them, Lalarash is bait for now he lives yes sir as you command yeah. for now Lala Rash says you live but the venom works its way through your system how much longer do you think you have before you're too weak to even pick up that antidote. I think you need to start speaking. I'll tell you what I know once I can drink the antidote, please. He 
gets Mark, I'm, I'm, through here. My perfect lie. I look so innocent and I look so sweet and I look like I don't know what's going on. And he fails a saving throw against your influence reactions. Oh my gosh. That had better not be another lie of yours. He takes the antidote, pours it into your wine, downs it. <laughs> The Look. awful, milky, phlegmy feeling subsides. I think, is this how it tastes to eat an alarm? <laughs> um. Look. What you said about the mirror thing, I'll start with that. I'll, I'll get to my friends later. I've been with men who look good and you know but they don't they're not nice they don't treat me nicely they they use me and then they throw me away you listening Grundy? <laughs> wow <laughs> Whoa. oh my god <laughs> oh. Well, that made me cry. And, <laughs> and um, I just I I I saw you at the outpost, and I really respected how you held everything. And I thought to myself, "That's a man, right?" And look, I I just as attracted to who you are as a person looks they fade over time i was hoping mine would at least make you consider me i mean i'm, I'm nothing compared to you you're you have everything I just hoped that maybe you would come to feel the same about me before my looks faded As for my friends, there's a reason I was storming angrily up to my room. <laughs> they were doing something weird. I, I don't know. With They said they were playing with dice? Something? My hmm. other friend threw me across the room to get into that room. I don't know. I The floor looked different. They were acting weird, and I was asking them what was going on, what happened. And and no one would tell me. So I I told them I needed a break, and I packed my things, and I came up to my room. And I saw you, and I thought a breath of fresh air. I... I want to believe you. I, I do. I, I, I and... and... This is the strangest thing about it. I do believe you. My heart tells me to listen to you. Even though every instinct that has brought me to this, to this exalted station in life, a caravan captain for a merchant house is telling me not to. Still, I do. I, I can't. I don't know what to think. I can't convince you to trust me. I get why you don't. I feel like an idiot too. I trusted my friends. I thought that they were coming with me to help me see if you were really were the man I thought you were. And they've been distant with me and not really talking with me and... Well, they are here on a different purpose. What they have used they? you as they have used me. They're looking for smugglers, so they say. And I'm not entirely convinced they're not smugglers themselves. You don't think... What 
What what what are they smuggling? What 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 are they look? I I don't understand. It doesn't matter. Don't don't trouble yourself with it. I I have only one question for you. He rolls the empty antidote bottle around in his hand. Can you forgive me for what I just did? She looks like she's genuinely pondering it for a moment. I think I probably would have done the same in your situation. Hmm. I can look past it. Just... In the future, just... You can talk to me. You don't have to do this. You can trust me. And I like, put a hand on his hand. He takes hold of your hand, squeezes it gently. Perhaps. But I understand if you would rather keep distance. At least until you solve this situation, I get it. I I don't want our, not to be presumptuous, but our relationship to be tainted by actions of people I thought were my friends. If you need space, I can give you that. I asked you for some space until we were past Galg. I will ask you for nothing more. But I need to weigh my heart against my instincts. They have never proved me wrong. My heart has more than once. I know the feeling. Perhaps you do. I ask for nothing more from you than, than your forgiveness. I will treat you with more honesty if you will do the same. Of course. Look, I want to help you. I'm suspicious of my traveling companions. Is there anything that I, I can do? I, I don't know if they would trust me. I mean, they, they know how much I like you, so I don't feel like they would tell me anything, but I have access to their room. They don't seem held back by me going in there. I can maybe try and look through their things, although I'm not, I'm not very good at lying or being stealthy. <laughs> I would worry about them finding me. We will be at Fort Calvis tomorrow. Let us see what changes that may bring. Okay. And if you need me to leave at Fort Calvis, I will. Hmm. I don't think it'll be necessary. I will be able to see things with a clearer head then. He stands and goes and opens the door. I take my glass with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good night. Sleep well, Siora. As you leave, you can feel his eyes upon your back. <clears throat> but almost sense his gaze trying to tease some truth out of the situation a truth that continues to elude him uh, 
And I guess you you head back to your room? Yeah, I head back to my room. And I close the door and just, like, collapse in stress. (laughs) I'll put the glass on the side, hoping that potentially maybe Zuxus can deem... What I'll poisons? see her walk in, presumably, because I'm still there. No, she's well, in she's, my she's, room. She's, oh, your room. Sorry, no, I thought you were in the room. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not what you think. Just laying in your bed. <laughs> Got mud all over the place. It's <laughs> not what you think it is. It's mud, I promise. <laughs> Okay. So unless anybody has uh, further actions, the night passes in dark, tense silence. The next day, Dalgra, the word goes around the camp fairly soon, is gone from the caravan. Fen lets, uh, lets you know this almost right away, Scathis. His rumbling suspicions are that Dalgor was almost certainly involved. And with the noose tightening around the smugglers, he's uh, made his getaway. Lalarash does not emerge from his caravan at all from his, uh, I keep calling it a caravan, from his quarters at all. And I presume you guys ride out the rest of the following day until the arrival at Fort Calvis. And if let's make some awesome. preparations that uh, if things go south that we can uh, get the hell out. If I think... possible... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go on, Nick. Oh, I was just going to say, if possible, um, knowing that Senex from previous can write, uh, Siora would probably write down the what basically everything that happened. Yeah. Um, and going into the food hall wouldn't sit with them and would just kind of very slyly slide the paper to Senex. Because she's thinking, I can't be seen with them now. Lala Resh would you know, I can't. So I, I tell them what happened essentially through through a note and then we'll sit somewhere else. Um, and you will probably notice that Siora is constantly looking around to see if he's going to come down or somewhere. She's she's very much on edge. Yeah, you're the only two with literacy, so... Um... Okay. It's the stay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, yeah, so, Senex, <laughs> you're, uh, you're provided with a note to that effect. Okay, I, obviously I read it for what she's saying. Um, Entirely different story. We, we all need to get together and relay the information from last night. Um, Tiara looks quite shaken. Oh, so she, you even put the stuff about her being poisoned in you and stuff like that, yeah? Oh yeah, yeah. I, oh wow, I, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I, and I also tell them that like, I believe I've managed to convince him that I'm not involved. However, he is still highly suspicious. Um, like, I, I yeah, basically, just I'm so, I'm so screwed. <laughs> Save me, help. <laughs> so it just says SOS. SOS. <laughs> we must um, kill him. Mean- what does that mean? <laughs> Save our sirens. So we, we sit around sauce? breakfast and under hushed tones, make sure, not, making sure no, that obviously two, no one else is close. It's two yep. snake sigils is, in a is, fire pit. Is Scathus, uh, is, is he uh, uh, anywhere near? I'm sure Scathus can come by and uh, share a bowl yeah. with you if he wishes. It's not a... Yeah, Scathus will come by and he'll probably relay some information when he gets the chance. So... There is three snakes here. Dalarash being one of them. But we need to get this information. You lady correct. 
We need to. I I honestly believe we need to get off of this Ar Argosy. Uh, I agree. Nadja thinks we get off as well. <clears throat> I can agree with that. One but... thing I will let you know is that Captain Fenn has asked me about our mission. I told him the truth. And what does the captain say? He wanted to kill Alarash. I told him we may need him. He has advised me to tell you that we will use Lalarash as bait. We will need him. For how Shom? I... Do I know much about Shom, Mark? Can I do any knowledge checks? Uh, they're, they are quite possibly the richest and largest trading house in the entire Tablelands. One of the oldest. But they deal with um, the shadows. I thought, what? They do whatever they like. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they're immense, old, decadent. The fact that they, they've been on a centuries-long decline, and even still, they're the biggest and most powerful. From what? Oh, I can't remember his name, the one that's run off. <clears throat> Dal Dalgra. Dalgra. From what Dalgra is saying is that Lady Corodius is in immense danger. How shum. I'm sure she would rather know this as soon as possible. And from where the, we are here, we've no way of getting anything to her. There might be ways to get a message to her from Fort Calvis. Um, the issue, the problem you have if you abandon the caravan is uh, you will not complete the mission she sent you. No. I have a, I have a spell that I might be able to use to communicate with Kurodius. Louder, bit, bit, bit louder, please, on out. Sorry, I was trying to whisper to sound surreptitious. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent method acting, I approve. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, um, basically, I have a spell. Which one? Um, if, if we can find some small flying animal, I can attach a note to it and have the animal go to Kurodius. Like a beetle. Like a beetle, yes. How acceptable. Do we think this will work? Would a beetle really travel all that way and how long will it take? Um, Does it know where to look for Herodias? Basically, I can give it simple directions. And I can attach a small note to the animal. And if so instructed, the animal will then wait at a location until the duration of the spell expires, which is a day per level. So it can, it, it has, I can send it off for five, five days, five days. Yes, five days. How long will if it, it take can fly, a if, to... if, 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 if it can fly to Nibane in five days, how many days have we been traveling? Uh, you're about to hit seven. You're about to hit nine days. Right, but a beetle presumably flies. Oh, well, yeah, we've and Argosy been travels. exactly. We've been moving Argosy speed. Yeah, exactly. So I don't um, know, but I can. I can. Um... Would you know as a druid? The beetles are not going to make it in five days. So we need something faster. Another animal. You could just use a simple messenger. I mean, you can you can pay a messenger, for example. Yes, yes. That, I'm just saying this is an alternative if we don't yep. have that. Yeah. It might be more prudent to wait until we can get to an actual messenger, because that way we will know that the intent that they will find Lady Carotis. Can you remind us what the full mission is again? I thought we were just meant to find out who the actual. Uh, find out what who, who who's smuggling it. Um, find out why and put a stop to it. Oh, okay. Putting a stop to it means that we see that through the end to the end. But I have a feeling that now that we've been discovered, um, 
It's more about the, them putting a stop to us. Things are less straightforward now, yes. Well, the question is, obviously, there is two other caravan miles that are in on it. And we've got a feeling that the uh, the half elf guard, whatever is in on it, and his crew. That's what Fen thinks. I think we can Seems assume to, they are. I assume it matches. So why don't we get something a little bit more fast and a little bit more smart and fly? Well, how long would it take? Darje to go all that way. Darje. Five minutes. Uh, <laughs> Roadrunner. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> you travel twice. You travel twice the speed. You're fa twice as fast as a Macalot. Um So what did I say? Nine days. Yeah. So you do it in four, four and a half days. Four to four and a half days. Faster uh, yeah. than the beetle. Yeah, but then, but we, then would, we would lose we, a very then, um, a valuable yeah. member here. <laughs> so, uh, what if we summon uh, and 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 and, and Suxus looks at the uh, Why don't we summon the Kestrical? Those are fast. Yes, perhaps. And they're a little bit more smart. We can summon an animal. Yes, and they're common, and and they're smart enough to take. Uh, a little bit more elaborate this instructions than a beetle. Can we summon an animal? <laughs> Hold on. Let me check. Um... Animal summoning is a fourth level spell. Yeah. So no, yes, you no, can't. No, I don't. I can't. Um, I can... You can locate an animal. I can locate. I can summon insects, but those those only stay for a short while, and they're that's a combat spell. So, and and Mark, those presumably this this the same goes for those lesser lesser elementals, right? They only last for a little while. So, an elemental will stick around until it's done the job you set it. Right. The problem I have is that mine elementals are water or magma, and I can't really stick yeah. a note to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, do you have another piece of paper? <laughs> um, Plus, you have the issue of some, I think a couple of people have pointed this out. You don't know where, uh, where Corodius is. Yes, there's that. We're just not powerful enough. You're not. You're fucking low level. And nevertheless, so would, would a messenger have any luck anyway finding her? A messenger can, you can take can take a message directly to House Carodius. Ah, and then her and her her internal staff can make sure she gets it. What psychic messenger? Hang on. A psychic messenger is someone who uses telepathy to send a message. That's also possible. Oh, two hundred miles. That sounds, that sounds very good. good. Yeah, but that's me then removing one of my powers that I haven't used yet, officially used yet. <sighs> so let's have some decisions, people. Anything that you are you that you're doing before the caravan hits Fort Calvis? Um. I, I would like to uh, discuss with Scathis whether we can, uh, uh, without uh, too much notice of uh, others, uh, get one of the kanks and befriend it for us, so we can send it on its way with uh, our belongings if we uh, run into trouble. Okay. Scathis, you think that it's certainly possible to get to get to a kank to befriend it, 
um, loading yeah. it up, loading it up with your belongings, um, will draw the attention of the outriders immediately. Uh, yeah, I would, I would tell Zuxus as much. Um, if we were to try this, it would most certainly alert the outriders. So we can we can prep the animal, fight. but we, we we don't we can't do it until the last moment uh, if it push comes to shove. So that's then what I'll do. I'll, I'll prep the animal. By which you mean cast animal friendship? Yes. Right. Okay. Good. Uh, and I'll, I'll I'll prep our luggage in such a way that we can put it quickly on the kank mm -hmm. uh, and send the kank on its way if need be. Okay, so you're 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 packing your belongings, your personal belongings. Yeah, so that they're ready to go in one go, boom. Right. So that we don't okay. have to lose time having to snatch up our stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, the cargo you brought with you. Yes. Two How backpacks. much is that? In, Two what? Backpacks. Two backpacks. Two backpacks. Okay, and that that you're and you're including that in your uh, escape prep, as it were. Yeah, it's included in the escape prep, and uh, we can. Uh, there's four backpacks, additional backpacks there as well, so we can spread it among more people if we need. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. A tense day passes. Then, Scathis, you help uh, Suxis sneak down to where uh, the Kanks for one of the Outrider patrols are stationed, while she. <laughs> excuse me, works the animal friendship spell on it over the course of about an hour. Um, the kank responds by lovingly nudging and rubbing itself up against her leg and feeling her up and down with its uh, with its antennae. Um, and then you prepare your belongings in your chambers for a possible escape. All right. Before Nothing happened to I'm keeping watch. No, not at all. Sorry, before the day ends, I want to uh, check on Siora. Okay. After hearing that she was poisoned. Yeah, so she's been delib deliberately keeping away from you, but um, doesn't right, take but I, I, I also, to track, I kind of also, take you. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I was kind of trying to make sure that I wasn't involved with the other group either. So I figured I can do this without raising too much suspicion. Not a problem. Um, um, so I'll just go over to her and say, are you okay? Do you need healing? I don't think I need any healing, but thank you. However, you know if you do. I was able to keep the glass he poisoned me with and then gave me the antidote in. I don't know if it's something that either you or Zuxis is able to test. I'm not sure, but it might be Zuxus good to know what know poisons. What. Um, Would you? Um... I look around to see if anybody's watching. No, no one is. This will be up in her quarters. Oh, okay. Would you be able to give this to Zuxis? Yes, of course. Thank you. Be careful. I'll try. Um, and I tuck the glass in my belt pouch or something. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have a lot of bags or clothes, so I just go. <laughs> so <laughs> cute. Off, off I go. <laughs> and I'll okay. bring it to Zuxis, trying to hide it from any anyone who happens to be looking in my direction. Okay. Um... Zuxus, examining the residue in the bottom of the glass, you see that it's an ingested poison of some kind. Uh, which, if I just... Smells at it. Look at your character sheet here. You're like... No, yeah, yeah exactly. She's <laughs> not, not licking it, but uh, using the, the receptors on her tongue to... Uh... Yeah, you're not entirely sure what it is. Um, just quickly... Welcome, Jay, and to Logazumba's channel. Thank you very much for the raid, guys. Much appreciated. Hey, Logazumba. Hello. Hey. <laughs> um, 
Darjay, however, you do recognize it. It's a poison that you've just learned. Red leaf sap. Ah. And what's more interesting about it is it almost certainly wouldn't have killed Siora. Oh, that was my next question, is what kind of poison is it? Yeah, so if you look on your character sheet, it, you'll see... It's, it's ingested, it's... though, yeah. Yeah, and if you look at the oh, damage... Oh, I'm, I'm there, I'm there, yeah. Yeah. It's five points of damage on a failed saving throw. Yeah. So, it seems likely that Lalarash was attempting to pressure her rather than... Just doing than... it to scare her. Exactly. He did not want to kill Siora. Okay, I, should, I, I should will... Do something we should tell her. Yes, I will. I'm just going to go back and bring her uh, uh, this ointment. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh... I will come with you. Discreetly, Dajay will come well. with you. Who is this I you speak of? No, <laughs> I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> Dajay um, meant to say that to himself only. I, you, um, yeah, you, you've uh, returned back up to Ciro's quarters. Yeah, with a little, like a little, you know, one of mm -hmm. my healing bombs or whatever, and uh, I uh, knock on her door and do the whole. Uh, Siora? Oh, hi, Thicket. Did she get me my um, healing yeah, yeah. for when I fell over? Oh, perfect. Um, come in. Um, I wander in, and I purposely put my toe behind the door so she doesn't shut it right away. To give Darjay enough time to get uh, in. Ah, I see. And then I move my foot out of the way. <laughs> Darjay, you slip stealthily yes. into uh, into Siora's room, unseen by anyone else. Siora, Daji is here also. <laughs> I, I, like, look for you. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I just appear kind of from behind her. <laughs> I, I give Daji a little head pat, maybe some scritches. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um, did you bring the glass back? We found out, uh, well, actually, Darjay know, knows more about this than I do. The poison, red leaf sap, this would not have killed you. Was it some kind of scare tactic? Darjay thinks so. For answers, perhaps. It seems like that was what he was originally wanting. Do you um know how to make the antidote for it in case he tries it again? Not that it would do much damage anyways. If I know the poison, do I know the antidote? Yeah, you, you can use herbalism to uh yeah. to brew an antidote. That which you don't which it. which you don't have, so no you don't. That you cannot <laughs> make it. <laughs> if you tell me what to do, I can make it for you. I have herbalism. Dodge and seek it can do it. Oh, the dream team. Yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no um... practice. <laughs> I mean, um... I, I don't have my kit right here. I need to go back to the room to... to That's okay. I, I, I don't need it right now. <sighs> it's just good to know in case he tries it again. Although I doubt he will. You will watch yourself around him. What's the plan? I'm more concerned what he's going to do when we arrive. Try not to drink anything or eat anything that he offers you. That's the plan from now on, at least. Speaking <sighs> of arriving... Fort Calvis. Jutting out of the edge of the People's Road against the olive sky, the reddish light of the sun bleaching it crimson. The Argosy rolls up to the outer surrounds of the fortress. 
a house Salaxa outpost. It's used as a hub by local farmers and herders. A couple of hundred staff and slaves. There's a small gaggle of Erdlu Erdlu herders. That's hard to say. Have brought their uh, their herd of Erdlu, their Herdlu, uh, up to the outside of the fortress and are busy ushering them in through the outer gates. The uh, Amketch Argosi pulls up, uh, the Mechalots huffing in their traces, and the staff here begin to settle it down for the evening. There's only a couple of days beyond this before uh, you reach the edge of the, uh, the Silt Estuary and make your way up to Altaruk the destination, final destination of the of the trip. But here, refreshing water, refreshing food supplies. Fort Calvus is a handy stopover. Amber Herdlew? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was trying to be subtle. <laughs> um, and then, of course, there is Lalarash. He's been hiding himself in his quarters for the entirety of the last day or so. But once the Argosy pulls up to uh, Fort Calvis and slaves begin loading and offloading food and water, halted Fen overseeing guards being positioned around, um, the cargo slaves having to take uh, harder work, now the absence of, of Dalgrit is more sternly felt. The caravan master departs the caravan. Robes wrapped around him, hood pulled down, and goes striding off up the ramps and into Fort Calvus itself. Scathis, you on the, uh, the, the guard post outside, spot him leaving. And even if you didn't, Halted Fen comes over and elbows you. Look, Lalarash is leaving, he says. Darche, we should get Darche to follow. I agree. Yeah. Um, Scathis sees this and nods to him. Uh, it does. Would Scathis know if we're if Darche is going to follow him or see? I don't think he would see Darche. Is Darche still with me? Because if we like sense the Argosy coming to a stop. Yep. The only the only knowledge that you have is that Lalarash is is due to meet someone in town. So if you wish to do something oh, about following I'm him, following him, yeah. yes, you're going to need to act sharpish. Yeah, Sc- Scathis would go to see his friends and tell them because he doesn't know if they. Know. Darje's probably already off the Argosy by now. <laughs> I think the most common question in this campaign is going to be, "Where is Darje?" <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. So I, I, I imagine that release a book after this. Yes. Me and Thicket, Dodge runs off the the Argosy. Me and Thicket probably head down to the the main cabin. Yeah. Um. Let the others know that Dodge has gone, and I can kind of talk to them now because I know that Lalaresh is left. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my immediate question then is, Dodge, are you going alone? I guess I am. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> like, I could try risk no coming other along, bloody but I, I can try and come along, but it is very risky. I wouldn't. So, not, not not the position you've put yourself in with Lalaresh. I'll go um, alone. I, I, I can join if you want. No, it's easier for me to get out of trouble if I'm maybe by myself. I can run yeah. away. I'm, um, yeah, exactly. I'm not that good in, in this. <laughs> You're much better at hiding than me, so... Yeah. I can sit in your pocket. <laughs> I sit in your pocket. Okay. Oh, I want to sit in your pocket. <laughs> no, what I'm going to... <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Pockets is. <clears throat> right. Um, so, Siora, you rejoin your companions in uh, in their chambers uh, to let them know, presumably, that Darje is headed off. Yeah. Around about the same time as Scathis arrives to let you know that Lala Rush has left and something needs to be done about it. You've crossed purposes a little bit. But, whatever the case, Darje is is on it. His tiny lizard feet scampering through the dust as the sun sets low, filling the streets of Fort Calvis with shadows. 
tailing Lalarash through those streets, through its busy marketplace, stalls all around and low flat roofed houses and into a tavern. He disappears. A what is the rest? So sorry. Into a small alehouse. You following him inside? I am, yes. Okay. And uh, that's where we leave it for the time being. Oh. Just watching Darjay disappear into the darkness of the alehouse. We will take a short break. And we... You sneak into the tavern, Darjay. It's poorly lit. There are traders sitting at tables in booths, a couple of fire pits billowing smoke over haunches of meat that fill the air with a rich aroma. Lalarash winds his way between the tables to a booth at the back. There, you spot a fairly uh, well-dressed, surprisingly so, mool. This individual is shown here. Fine leather trappings hang from his broad shoulders, and there are a pair of bodyguards standing at the back of the booth. Without a word, Lalarash slides into position opposite him and leans forward and they begin talking very hushed and intent tones are you going to try and sneak up to have a listen or uh, keep your distance what do you want to do <laughs> um I think you're asking me what I want to do, yes? Am I am I uh, am I cutting out for you? <laughs> I want to listen in. It's like those interviews on CNN. Can you understand me? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Can you roll me a move silently, please? I'm going to have to type that. Yeah. Oh. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. It's going to be like a game. <laughs> Please ask. I want to listen in. <laughs> Is anyone listening to me? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm at, moving, look at moving the silently chat. and uh, get close to the booth. I am looking at the chat. <laughs> wow, that's bad. I love the, that's that's a that's lag there. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> well, this has worked out well. Yes. Apparently, I she's just... uh, in a different time zone. <laughs> I just want to play this game of telephone for the rest of the game. <laughs> it's so Maybe good. Roll, move silently. I did. Oh, you did? Okay, it hasn't even turned up. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to roll it. Wow, her picture just totally changed. That's so funny. Apologies to our viewers for we're having technical difficulties, apparently. Okay, oh, I see it there. It's come through finally. A three. Wow, that's a fantastic roll. Well, 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 well. Okay. Um, are you hearing me at all now, Luke, or am I still, I still broken up for you? <laughs> From that fixed grin, I take it. I'm still broken up. No, I can hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. I can, I can, yes, I can. Yes. I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, wow. That's so surreal. <laughs> okay, so you sneak up close to the booth. And with a fantastic roll, completely unheard, 
um, you arrive in position and get to hear the the plot critical conversation <laughs> <laughs> that you're probably not going to be able to hear. <laughs> oh my god! Lucan, just like our viewers, can always watch our uploads on YouTube after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Okay, um, so um, someone please transcribe this for Lucan in chat. Uh, the uh, the two figures are engaged in a fairly intense discussion. Lana Ash says, "We need to pull this now. They are onto us. Chirodius has sent agents. They've infiltrated the caravan, and they've found the Beatles." Ramistees, this has gone too far. The mole, Ramistees, shakes his head. That's a, a stupid name. You will continue to Altaruk. Agristees is waiting for the Beatles. You must not let him down. They are vital to our plans. I'm not sure I'm going to survive that long, Lala Rash says. I'm doing this at great risk, and I expect how Shom to take proper care of me. We will. You may guarantee that. So, what are you going to do about Kyrodius's agents? Lala Rush as asks. You want them removed? Yes, I want them removed. Then I'll remove them. What about the other people on the caravan, your guards? I, I don't know, Lalara says. I, I think Halted Fen is loyal, but he's stupid. And he can be easily swayed, he's a half giant. Arazo, my outrider captain, I have no idea where his loyalties lie. As for the slaves, but we've already lost one. I tried to pay him off and he fled. Mm. The mall nods. Then the caravan must be destroyed also. We will take the beetles from the wreckage and carry them to Alterook. Lana Ash's face pales. No way, that's, 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 that's not... The mall stands. You said you wanted Haosham to take care of you, Lalarash. Empty words. Lalarash sits back in his in his seat. No, I just I, I meant that. Well, this is what this is what it looks like. Carried his agents will be dead, and the caravan will be burning in the desert. We'll see you again soon. And he turns and nods to the two bodyguards and strides out of the alehouse. Lucan, did you catch any of that? I typed it all out word for word in the in the Zoom chat. Okay. Rising bitch. Well, word for <laughs> word. <laughs> That's fantastic. I, I think the shorthand is almost better. I the actually got a lot of it. <laughs> okay. The shorthand is quite good. Okay. Um, so ask Star J if they want to head back and uh, warn, uh, warn the rest of the group or, um, or not. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, right. You can just, you can just say it. All right. Then uh, I, I want uh, another move silently from you, please. Um, to get out unnoticed. 
Let's see how long it takes this one to to appear. Four and a half days later. <laughs> You're so mean. I don't know what's happened to your Wi-Fi. It's just collapsed. This has been like quite the session. Did you roll it yet? She had to stop Google. It's still loading. Right. <laughs> I'll roll it. Please save me. Okay, yes. And you were able to uh, to slip back ahead of the uh the bodyguards and Ramesses and as he leaves the uh, the alehouse he snaps his fingers and from a, from a nearby alley these two figures emerge a pair of immense half giants run Guy has a lot of teeth. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of teeth. That is an, a surprising amount of teeth. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about half giant anatomy. I might be wrong. <laughs> Seems um, like an excessive amount. They they stride up to the mall, and he gives them swift and uh, rather horrifying instructions. Go to the Corodius caravan. Find the agents, the passengers there. Kill them. They nod and turn and stride off in that direction. RJ, you can overtake them if you wish by moving at high speed through the uh, through the marketplace, but that's what it's going to take because the two half giants start to just <laughs> move into a steady thudding lope through the uh, the marketplace of uh, Fort Calvis down the slopes and toward where the Argosi is waiting. She says she runs. Okay. Like run, run, run. Yeah, skittering tail, yeah, <laughs> high, <laughs> high kicking legs, frills out at uh, leaving a tiny dust trail behind him. Darje shoots down the alleyways and out <laughs> across the open ground. Um, those of you at the Argosi itself uh, see him coming, rushing across the intervening ground. Outside, you're where you've always, you know, expected to be in the evenings. Um, Scathis on guard. Uh, the rest of you waiting for your, the meals to be made, handed out, uh, the outriders setting up patrols. Um, and it's as Darje comes rushing up towards you, um, presumably he alerts you to uh, to the imminent danger. Oh, dude, I grab my, my to-go bag and I'm, I'm ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we're just leaving. <laughs> Dude, what are we gonna do? They're gonna destroy the Argosy. What do we can't just sit in it while they destroy it and burn it to the ground? Um, they said they were gonna. Uh, that was gonna ta be taken care of in a in a day or so. Oh. What they're dealing with now is us. Is you guys? They try murder us. Yeah. So we uh. run. We, we run. They chase. Yeah. So we need to deal uh, with that. We have Scathis. Scathis has a, a friend, the half giant. We can ask Scathis to tell them that we have left and we just hide. Okay, um, give me the large overlay, overlay please, please, Lee. Um, so, Scathis, I would imagine that you're somewhere around here. Yep, I believe that um, is. Yeah. 
Darje has probably come running up to near you, so somewhere around here. Um, the rest of your companions are probably in the Argosi, unless they've actually emerged out to uh, to become involved in the situation. If anybody um, wants to uh, to yes, partake of um, I, I the oncoming partake. troubles, um, and pull your pull your counters onto the map. Um. Do we get any prep time? How much prep time? How much warning time in rounds do we have? You've got one round of uh, of warning. Um, the half giants have movement rate of fifteen. Darjeez is eighteen, so he arrives literally just ahead of them. I will. Gotcha. I will manifest flesh armor on myself. Okay, roll for that, please. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. That is a twenty. I will let you know what that gives me in a second. I try and hide in shadows. I'll do armor optimization. Yep. Uh, sure, that puts you in shadows nicely. Um, so next, what's your armor class boost? Uh, plus six, so it should be 18. Yep. Okay. Uh, Thicket, I'm not seeing you on the map. Uh, sorry, I was... Scathith, that's a successful armor optimization, so your armor goes up by one point. To 23. I'm hoping they think you're just a guard and not a passenger, so they don't do anything to you. Still can't let them kill you, so... Bolg. Yeah, his name. <laughs> gen, genuinely, his name is Bolg. Bolg and Yarag. Love yeah. it. Um, okay, so uh, give me uh, initiative rolls, please. So we have one round to, 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 to do something yeah, for us? Yes, yes, please go ahead. Um, I'll put a women watch in front of the entrance of the Argosy. That is that is a, a five segment uh, casting. Okay. So somewhere um, there, somewhere there, I would say. Where? Show me where. Here, this is the entrance, right? Are you pinging somewhere there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And what's the what's the range of that? The radius, sorry. Give me a sec. Five foot radius sphere. Five foot. Yeah. So I do it really straight in front of the entrance. So if they walk into the entrence, they walk into the right. wyverns. Uh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Did my roll come through? Okay, I've seen a, a, a initiative from Darje, initiative from Sewer, initiative from Scathis. Got it from Senex. I don't have it from Zuxus or Thicket yet. I don't understand. I, I'm pressing the button on in the. I have the same. I'll do it again. Oh, nope, nothing. There it is. The Zuxus. It's not letting me do it for some reason. I'm just gonna roll just roll a d10 and then enter yeah. it manually. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Okay. My casting time is around, so. Okay, so then it just happens on that. That that next counts round. next round. Yeah. Yes. So I'm, I'm assuming that that is the round I have before they get to us or something. Yeah. So that's what you're doing that round is is, uh, is the casting. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm, I'm producing a, a flower petal and mud in my various. Nice. All right, so, um, Darje, you have just managed to uh, uh, bark out the warning to your companions um, when they come marauding through the gates. Uh, a pair of 
monstrous half giants you've seen in the, in the picture there, um, followed up by what appeared to be a trio of mulls, um, one dressed well, the other dressed as bodyguards. Uh, seeing that uh, at least a couple of you have started to gather, um, you hear Lalarash's voice calling from the uh, from the walls of Fort Calvis behind. That's them. That's them there. The smugglers. And with that, the half giants stride forward to engage. And uh, Bolg actually will be up first. But not before Scathis. Well, uh, uh, honestly, this might not be helpful, but the first thing I was going to do is, on this round, use tactics um, on uh, both half giants and both bodyguards. Okay, so you spend the What's moment uh, sizing them up. Bolg is coming, is charging straight towards you. Toward me? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, yep, all right, it'll give me a plus one to hit uh, all of them for the rest of the combat. Okay. Might um, not be a good idea. We'll see. All right. Uh, he thunders across the intervening ground toward uh, toward you, Scathis, um, clearly alerted to the fact that you're more than just a caravan guard, and uh, raises an immense mace and swings for you with it. Uh with his immense size, that is an easy hit. Uh, the mace connects. Dealing you 13 points of damage um, with a single brutish swipe. Um, knocking you down to... Uh, where are we here? Down to 35 hit points. And he roars at you in uh, incomprehensible fury. Um, the Shrom agent, Ramestes by name, runs up to this position here, and uh, you can see him uh, unlimbering a light crossbow. Uh, I'm taking it from the fact that, that these, the, the rest of you guys are actually on the Argosy, means you're yep. inside, correct? Yeah. I figured I was on, like, top, looking out. So you're yeah. on top. Okay, fine. Uh, he can't see you, Darje, because I see that you've got a uh, um, a hide in shadows there. Yeah. Mark, yeah. real quick, is, are any of the other guards available? Are they here? Are they are they all run the run off? Or they're all here, yes. But you're going to need to um, uh, to to work to rally them if you want to. Gotcha. Um. Thicket, so I'm guessing you start casting at this point. Uh, is, is this when, uh, that was last round. Yeah, I was casting all of last round. So all right, so it goes off now. now. Yes, so it's a summon insect spell. Um, I'm going to have it attack the the the, the half giant that is um, attacking Scathis. Yep. Um, and it summons 70% uh, of the time uh, flying insects and 30% of the time crawling insects. So um, I guess I'll roll, or you roll, I don't know. Roll? Uh, so that's crawling insects. Okay. Um, I'm assuming, I don't know, actually, who, <laughs> which one is... You, you tell me, it's your spell. Oh, I can choose? Well, flying insects, then, if I if I can. Um, what, whatever the percentage tells you. Well, it says 70% of the time flying insects appear, and 30% of the time crawling insects appear, so I don't know which one takes precedence. It doesn't It doesn't say. No, you have to decide before you roll. Oh. <laughs> well, I was hoping for flying insects, so if that's what I get, then that's Fly, great. Fl flying insects <laughs> is fine. Um, the, uh, yeah, so the, they're biting flies, hornets, or wasps. Uh, they, uh, they'll uh, be a cloud uh, uh, that swarm around him. Uh, the attacked creature sustains two points of damage if he does nothing but attempt to flee or fend off the insects. Um, he suffers four points of damage uh, otherwise 
if the insects are ignored. Uh, the victim fights with a minus two penalty to uh, attack roll and a plus two penalty to his armor class, or in this case, minus two. Um, if he attempts to cast a spell, which I don't think he will... No, he's not. Uh, so he takes four points of damage and gets a two-point penalty to his armor class. And, uh, and, uh, and to his attack rolls. And to his attack rolls. Okay. Nice. And they'll hang around for five rounds. Nice stuff. Good, good, good. Okay. So the insects descend upon Bolg in a biting, buzzing swarm. Um, he attempts to tough his way through it initially, and they just start to bite, beasily drawing blood across his body. Uh, Senex. I will manifest sensory suppression. On who? On the one fighting Scathis. But you can't see him because you're inside the Argosy. Oh. Um, am I by a door or anything? Oh. Are you on top of the Argosy with me or are you inside? Uh, where? I'm assuming I'm like. I just asked just now, and, and you you all said you were inside. Oh, okay. Well, uh, where no, I, I said I was on top. I, I was on top. Okay, I, so I, Senex, Se Carl, Carl, please. Senex, where are you? Um, can I be on top? Sure. Okay, I will do sensory suppression on the one fighting Scathis, please. Okay, go. I did click it. Have a look. <clears throat> it come through. Oop. Try again. There we go. Nineteen. So, yep, success. Okay. Um, and I will. Uh, let me just double check. Sensory suppression. Yeah, he's blind. Okay, so that's a further minus four to hit. Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah. Clashes at his eyes, flails wildly around him, unable to see where his targets might be. Siora. So I was on top of the Argosy watching to wait for Dodge yes. and L L Thing to come back, but I actually think it would be more efficient for me to be in the Argosy using the arrow slits. Um, okay. So, while I'm hiding in the shadows, um, am I? Would I be able to reach the inside in this round if I was to to get to run? Uh, that would take your uh, your full round to get down the stairs into one of the one of the arrow slits. Okay. What I might do then or you is, can just, or you can just fire from the top. I'll fire from the top, and then I think I'll start to move to go inside um, with the okay, rest of good. my movement. I think so. Um, yeah, I will fire from the top. Uh, two with my longbow, with my steel arrows. I <laughs> don't... <laughs> don't uh, his armor class is only 12 because of the oh. penalties that he's taking. Wonderful. Um, yep, so that is a, a direct hit and actually... Oh, the other one would, is, is still a miss because even, though, yeah. even despite high ground. So six points of damage. Yeah, six nice. damage. And then I uh, I don't know where the like, way to get inside is, but I'm going to start heading. The stairs are about here under this giant thing here. Gotcha. Um, okay. And uh, you head back down and begin to, uh, to make your way to one of the arrow slits. Okay. Darje, Lucan, are you able to hear me? Uh, Darje says, uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay, two per arrows poison with more worm slime. At the half giant? Yeah, and it's it's double damage because I've been hidden. Yes. yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, does mine? Do I get no, it, the backstab? It's a back, she's doing a backstab. Okay. Do I'm I get roll. that as well? Uh, it was actually, range yours, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you it was. said oh, it yeah, was you're, last time. Yeah, yeah you, you don't have range backstab, though, so it's normal damage. Both of you. Uh, 
So, RJ, do you want me to roll to hit for you? Can someone type that for me, uh, uh Tura, she please? She have shaken her head. No, so I've got it, I think. You've got it. Okay, right. Nice. Yeah, two hits. Good, good, good. Nice. Okay, um... So is that double both of those? No, they're not double because it's a it's a ranged attack. That's a fail in the saving throw. And I'm pretty sure that first shot just kills him. Yeah. Uh, the uh, oh. the first the first yeah, it was a one on his saving throw. Um, the first arrow kills Bolg outright. And he staggers sideways, gargling at the shaft protruding from his side, hit falls to his knees, and hits the ground dead in front of Muscathis. Nice. Um, Darje, you can direct the other one at another target if you wish. Ramesty's Shrom is over here, the other half giant's here, and the bodyguards are here. Did I see you pinging him? Yeah, okay, This right. guy. <laughs> <laughs> his, armor, his armor class is 12, um, which you've already hit, so he has to make his everyone against poison as well. Oh man, this would be so good. This is just a slaughter. Need to invest in poisons. Oh! <laughs> From a 1 to a natural 20. Uh, Ramesses bats the poison away, um, but even on a saving throw, the uh, the mole one slime does damage, and uh, actually it's twenty points of damage, and he only had eighteen hit points. Ha! He dies as well. <laughs> <laughs> Half giant Ramus T. Shom killed outright by a pair of arrows um, from your wily little lizard. Good lord! Why did you bother running? You could have just turned around and shot them. <laughs> I should have murdered you all already. Yeah. <laughs> Scathis nods at Dorje with renewed respect. Uh, okay. Uh, Good lord. More bodyguards. I think I'm winning. I can't Moral tell, check. but I think I'm winning. You're winning D and D. Uh, it's 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 happening. Fuck yeah! yeah. Uh, the 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 more bodyguards pass the morale check, um, and now that they can see you, charge forward to engage. Uh, Darje. No, thank yeah. you. Yes, Not yes, today. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, one swings, the other swings, blades rising and falling. Uh, Darje, both of those hit uh -oh. solid strikes against you. And that's 21 points of damage dealt to you in a horrendous flurry of strikes, leaving you on 12 hit points. Lord. Um, Mark, the, um, the position of one of the bodyguards is very close to where the half giant fell, right? So he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's in he's the swarm. No, he's, he, he sees it enough to avoid the swarm. Okay, fair enough. Um, Drat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this half giant doesn't care and uh, runs up to engage Scathis. He immediately takes four points of damage and uh, as I record, it's two points off his attack, right? Yeah, two mi minus two to, a uh, to AC and attack rolls. Yeah, okay. Uh, he thinks he's going to be fine. <laughs> Not the smartest. Because his companion did so well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bolg was <laughs> stupid. I'm the clever one. Yes. And uh, he swings. And if you look at his picture, he's got a Githka. So two strikes. The first one misses. Uh, the second one, um, Scathis, you just managed to deflect it with your shield. Um, neither blade falls. Oh, sweet. Suxis. <laughs> um, Suxis takes uh, aim with her, uh, uh, her heavy uh, crossbow. And... Uh, Twangs one uh, poisoned uh, darts towards the uh, half giant. Okay. He's armor class 12 at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
So you can miss here, or wasp. Is it going through? Hit! Nice. Oh, sweet. He can throw a save. It's, it's, a, it's a save minus two, by the way. Fail! <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Poison <laughs> takes another toll! Scatter to this rate, you're not going to hit anybody. Uh, we left two for him. Uh, Scathis, you're sure. up next. Go. Why were we uh, whilst... Uh, wait, am I... I, I don't I'm know. Up next again. Do we need to... Do so we need yeah, to redo... So let, yeah, let, let, redo initiative. Yes, you're quite right. Um, if I'm maintaining a spell, I, I'm not going to bother rolling an initiative. Or should I? If you're doing something different, then uh, if you want to act, no, because I have to action, concentrate. I have to concentrate to then maintain. Then no, then, then then stay on eight. Yeah. Okay. Did I roll? Doesn't look like it. I have you on nineteen now, so that's changed from last round. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, Senex. Uh, do I think ego wit will work on these? I suppose I can't really tell. Um, <clears throat> I will do. I will do the same thing, sensory suppression on one of them. Oh, that was the wrong one I rolled, but take the same roll. <coughs> so I failed. Okay. Fails to manifest. Thicket, you maintain your spell. Yeah, and I'm going to have it, The uh, I can direct the swarm to move up to uh, 60 feet. So oh, okay. it's going to move. But... Um, it does say that the uh, um, it can be uh, if I can send it against another opponent, but there'll be a, at least a one round one round delay while they okay. leave the former opponent and attack the new victim. All right. So is that happening now? That that's happening now. Yes. But okay. if they're swarming. They're they're slowly swarming over, <laughs> and I have to maintain concentration. So it's like yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Like, uh, Darjay, you're up. RJ. Yes. It's can you. Can you hear me or no? Yes, I can. Can you hear us? Yes. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am doing good. I am calling you from space. Um, I'm going to attack the closest one with uh, claws and bite. Yeah. Uh, and it's maybe kind of... try and. Yeah. And use some of my action to come and stand near my big lizard friend. Okay. Hello. Not on top of him, though. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. He's like sharing his face. <laughs> so, are you rolling? Uh, did you roll attacks? Or because it hasn't come through yet? Okay. I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Okay. Because Darje hits AC 16. It's a general action, I think. Yeah, but you said claws and bites, so... If only my character sheet it would load. Yeah. I got it. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Uh, none of those no, wait, hit. The guy, there. the guy, the guy there. <sighs> oh, I shouldn't have let you do it. I was there, man. Go on, make your rolls. I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Not in any way biased. Okay, one claw, <laughs> one one bite hit. <laughs> Go, give me damage. Yay. <laughs> is he a medium? He is. Medium rare. It's better than okay. nothing. Yep, you slash at him, and as you turn and run over um, to take refuge behind Scathis, he gets an attack of opportunity against you, slashes with his blade, uh, misses, though, as you scamper away out of range. Uh, but they are oh, undaunted. 
and close in one on Scathis here, the other one around Scathis, uh, and they're skirting their way around the uh, around the insect cloud, and uh, they try the to focus. Are like, shit, we have to change wait, direction. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Everybody uh, turn around. <laughs> they both swing for Scathis. Neither of them is able to penetrate your thick hide or your ability to dodge clumsy, feeble blows. Uh, Scathis, you're up. This should be interesting. All right. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to attack the one below me first with... Mm, I believe I rolled a uh, shield bash. Yep. Yep. So I could change that to mandible sword and not really change my place in initiative. Is that cool? That's totally fine. All right. They're on uh, class 15, so that's a miss. Yeah, that would only hit a 12. All right, um, I'll go with the second slash then. That is a hit. All right. On this, on this one here, right? One's happening. Yeah. The one, yeah. Whoa. Eight damage. The blade bites deep. His blood sprays into the sandy air, but he lives. Uh, I will then turn to face the one north of me, and as I do, my tail will swing out and hit the one that I was just attacking. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> it should be a hit for nine damage from the tail razor. Yeah, he feels like he's uh, escaped as you turn your back on him, but then the tail razor comes in and takes his throat clean out from beneath his head. And down he goes, dead. One bodyguard all remains, right. who looks around at the bodies lying all around him. Oh, uh, not turn out how I was expecting. And Scathis is going to circle around him. If I shield bash him, can I bash him back into the insects? Absolutely. His CMB is 15. CMB is 15. Oh! Spring right back <laughs> into the insects. He immediately takes four points of damage. Yay! And six damage from the shield bash. Oh, <laughs> and thus is slain. The insects get all stabby on it. And that's my turn. Didn't even need to bite anyone. I run down to the arrow slit and I peek my eye through and I see everyone's already dead. <laughs> uh, Zuxis goes out and uh, goes hunting for Lalarash. Lalarash is nowhere to be seen on the walls. You going, Zuxis? Lalarash, he's gone. We, no, we we must not let him escape. What if more people come here? If he tells, our mission is lost. Who were these individuals? I go over and search to. I let go. Ramesses, where his name there's is. There's no more enemies. Okay, one moment, please. Uh, Combat maneuver bonus. As you approach the gates, by the way, wow, they're they're quite big. Um, <laughs> let's shrink those men down to normal size. Um, a couple of guards in the uh, livery of House Salaxa have swung the gate shut. And uh, stand in position above it. One of them shouts down towards you, Suxis. You'll keep your distance, Surin. We want well, none of your quarrels here in Fort Calvis. Well, one of the one of your quarrels is inside. Hand him over to us, and we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Sorry, do you think you're negotiating with with a fort? No. You said you didn't want any, want, want any of our troubles inside get your Get back forts. on your Argosy and get out of here, lizard. The other one shouts. <clears throat> You've watered. Clear off. 
can try and see if I can sneak in a different way. If I find Lalaresh, I can tell him that you guys fled. Maybe get him back to the Argosy. He knows the game is up. He's got to try and contact uh, the Shrum guys. I'm sure of it. Um, I, I, I've walked back to the Argosy. Clearly, this is not uh, the entry here for me. What about the rest of you? Search the bodies. Yeah. Yes, that's what you said. Yes. I'm going to go tell Captain Fell about it. Or, or Fem. Captain. Right. So this is all taken um, less than two rounds. This is supposed assassination attempt by Shom agents has proven to be a complete disaster. <laughs> yes. Yarag and Bolg, elite half giants, have been um, laid low by, uh, once again, by your poisons. And uh, Fen and some of the guards come yomping out of the uh, of the Argosy right about now. Fen stares around himself. Look at all the bodies. What happened here? It was as we feared. Lala they Rush, tried uh, to kill us. Yeah. Where is Lala Rush? He fled inside. It's hiding behind the closed gates there. They're not letting us in. Uh, how Salaxa. They're even worse than Shom. Draji. Um, as for looting, by the way, oh. uh, Ramestes was wearing a uh, fine suit of Leather armor. What was that dice rolling going on there? My if my arrows survived. So oh, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's uh, has a uh, bone short sword and bone dagger uh, at each hip, and a, a light crossbow. And a uh, a pouch with a small number of silver coins. Um, 55 silver coins. Oh, wow. Oh, well, I take 30 of them and replace the lost ones I had earlier. Okay. Yep. Fair point. Are you taking his, uh, his weaponry? I take all his weaponry and... All right, can you make me two saving throws against poison, please? Uh, no. Should I say two d20 rolls? Two d20. <clears throat> I'm fine. Mm. Close. Close. That last one was close. That oh, was close. You got to get a number one. I got to get a one, and I. Yeah, it was almost rolled over onto the one there, but yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <coughs> as you pull them out, you can see the glimmer of poison on them. Ooh, poisonous. Mm. What? What is poisonous? Uh, hand them over to me or to uh, Darje. Yes, I do, I do that. Okay. Um, I, um, yep. Thank you. I asked RJ if, if they would like to try and get in with me. You say there was 45 or 55 silver? 55. Right, okay, so who's doing the pot? Uh, we'll, we'll do it after the game. We'll okay. put everything together. Uh, Yarag and Bolg are... Where are we? Both wearing a uh, scale armor. It's mostly undamaged. Um, Yarag had a bone mor sorry, Bolg had a bone morns bone morning star, and uh, Yarag was carrying around a bone githka. And the mall bodyguards uh, both had bone battle axes and were similarly dressed in scale armor. But none of the, neither the half giants nor the bodyguards are carrying any money. Just uh, Ramesty's Shom. And his poisons. Okay, well, I move it all onto the Argosy. Okay, so there's a little bit of a crowd gathering um, um. slaves and servants and the guards, Arazo and the Outriders kind of loitering near where the Kanks are. Let's get the bodies on the on the on the on the Agassi as well. 
Why do you want to keep the bodies? Because you're going to stink up. Yeah, but you can question them, can't you not? That's true. We can't take bodies with us. It's going to be briefly. And then we're going to get rid of them. When? Well, I, I look at I look at tickets. Yeah. I can do it now. Yeah. Today or tomorrow? I can do it now. Do it now while we wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They might turn into undeads. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, cannot, so... cannot have on Argosy. It is bad luck. Yes. That makes sense. Because they might they might turn into undead. Uh one spell left so I can do it okay it's it um, I need I need to retrieve some of my belongings mm -hmm. to do this it is a it is a lengthy ritual so you you'll need to give me some watch, time watch over you yeah, yeah sure okay uh, I go inside and retrieve my uh, uh, my incense. Okay. And uh, come back. Um... While you're inside, mm -hmm. Arazo saunters over, leans against the steps. So, where's Lalaresh? Why aren't we leaving? I think he fled. You're inside. You're going inside to get your incense. Yes. Oh, so he, 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 he's on the outside. Okay, sorry. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I can so he's talking too. to us. Yeah. Yes, yes, I thought he was talking to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go follow the halfling and pelt him with the questions that he has no answer for. Yeah. <laughs> well, Rush is gone. He fled. He betrayed the uh, House Kurodias and tried to uh, murder the, the evidence. Murder the evidence? What does that mean? Well, we had the evidence on him, so he tried to murder us. Right. Okay. So, who's running the caravan now? Surely yes. not him. And he jerks a thumb over toward Fen. Ah, uh, I never said I was running anything. I'm captain of the guards. And who do you think should? You? I'm just saying, I'm the one with the most experience. I've ridden with this caravan half a dozen times. I mean, these people are just passengers. He's talking to us. I'll be though. We are actually Corodius agents sent here to, <laughs> to figure this uh, nonsense out. Of course you are. Do you have any proof for this? Look outside. Enough proof? You want to taste some of our proof as well? Are you, are you threatening me, Lizard? Are you threatening us? Are you threatening us? Right. That's the question. Uh... I just said, you might not be House Corodius agents, and you threatened to murder me. How can I be threatening you? All I did was ask you a question. We gave you an answer. So, you're taking control of the caravan? The real question here, Outrider, is why we have to prove anything to you. Captain Fenn trusts us, and he is in command over you. He said. Is he now? Yes, I am. And it's about time you accepted it. Narazo looks around, weighing the situation up. As you wish. Who controls the pay chest? 
Uh, I see your message there, Panda, by the way. Um, I suppose that would be uh, Fen over here. Do you not think you should have someone who can count? I can count. It's I not about count. counting. It's about Hi. controlling it. Uh, I'm sure you and I, she points uh, at Eraso, will we'll help him with the counting together. I bet he controls it. All right. Who's captain? Whoever it is will not have access to the captain's quarters. As there is a lot of evidence in there. Evidence, planned. evidence, evidence. Who's captain? Caravan needs a captain. It's not going to be me, which is the obvious choice. Well, Xerxes is here as a trader. She will be. <clears throat> you will help me. You're putting the lizard in charge? How many caravans have you run, lizard? One. Oh, yeah? Yes. What happened not, to it? It was not very successful. <laughs> What's you your want... tone? I have slain enough elves. I am not afraid of half of one. As I said, you will help me. I love Scathis. As you command, Captain. Uh, your your expertise in this will be invaluable. I realize we'll that. We'll secure the perimeter for the night. I suggest we leave in the morning, Captain, at first light. And once we've done this uh, pr properly, I will make sure with Lady Corodias that you get a nice bonus for sticking with it. I would expect nothing less, Captain. Good. I uh, come bounding back out with my incense. Outriders, move out. He swaggers off to his uh, to his men. Okay, just real quick. Mm -hmm. Siora, did I see that Darje was going with you? Uh, I asked Darje if they wanted to come with. I don't know if they did. Uh, yes, he is. Okay. Has your wife has your Wi-Fi stabilized a bit? Maybe. Exciting! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest combat I've ever run. <laughs> yeah, no, and I think I killed two people. You killed know. like three people. Yeah. Two people, three people. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty crazy. But yes, I'm. Do I, do I know anything about this house that runs this fort? Okay, so House Salaxa is the chief trading house of the city state of Draj. Um, which okay. is probably the least pleasant city-state in the Tablelands. Um, they have moon priests, and they rip people's hearts out on pyramids, um, and uh, their um, their sorcerer king thinks he's a god, but not a nice kind of god, like uh, like Hamanu, um, the, the, the nasty, unpleasant, murdering, sacrificing type of god. And their trading house is known to be reputed, should I say, to be sneaky, underhand, Vicious vicious and would like poisoning so probably not a good relationship with house varshad or they don't have a good relationship with anybody understood um i head over to the gate um, but, but business is business so business is business yeah. um they didn't see me fight because i was hiding in shadows and then i went in the argosy so i'm gonna come up and look as, as sophisticated as possible. May I gain entrance? What are you here for? Trade. What are you trading? My services. <sighs> yeah, let her in. Wonderful. <laughs> Me and Dajay. <laughs> um, and then as soon as I'm past the gates, I am like... Before Dajay skimpers off, I quickly uh, hit her with a healing spell. She looks very, very wounded. Yes, please heal him. Amen. Yeah, yeah he, he's on 12 hit points. Yeah. There's exactly. a lot of blood coming out of him, don't worry. Dajay, if you can camouflage... Um, 
and try and help me track down Lalaresh. That would be great. Bajen knows his scent one. by now. Give me a sec. Sadly, I do too. Mm. Ew. Ew. It's Unacceptable. That's for dumber. <laughs> That's three. That's how much I can give you. <laughs> Uh, okay, so how much is that? Uh, leaves you on 29 out of a possible 33. So, um, oh. you're pretty, yeah, pretty if well. If you need uh, more healing, well I can help too. Thank you. Does, do you need more healing? Yeah, one well, more. am I on full health? <laughs> Almost. Help. Almost. I help. Um, I will note, Siora would have been doing this like. As soon as the combat was like over, she would have like literally walked, grabbed her arrows, and then headed to the headed gate. Straight on. I guess, yeah. yeah. Um, while because I want to, I want to catch Lalaresh, and he's. While I, I want to have this arrows, amount of time. I'll be, okay, before, I'll be being I'm, tended to, and then I'll join you. I'm. Scapis also did get hurt once. Yeah, I was gonna say Scapis is. Scapis yes. has a boo boo. But Scapis uh, is with us still. You guys are running. Um, I'm, I'm. How badly hurt is Darje still? I need like four more hit points. I give her, I give him a cure light wounds before he goes scampering off. Um, Thank you. And I need to roll it. So what were you doing, scampering? Oh. Uh, so three more points. Nice. Okay. Well, Dajay will a, tell you later. You have but a single injury remaining, and you know where it is. Mm. Uh, <laughs> at the very tip of his tail. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, and then I turn to Scathis and heal him. Yeah. How badly hurt is Scathis? I was oh, mauled points. once by a half giant for thirteen hit okay. points. Let me start with a cure serious. Oh, you you still need to have the spell to do your uh, uh, talk with the dead, huh? I can manage my own spells, thank you. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, before you like, heal, heal, heal! Oh, I have no more spells left. <laughs> yes, I, I, I have detailed files on my spells, don't files I? Files! Not files! Um, you're serious on Scathis. Because I can't do it. <laughs> Besides, I, I get extra healing spells because I'm special. Nice. Uh, So, oh yes, I have to actually roll that, don't I? Yes, you will need to roll that. Shut <laughs> <laughs> <Close> up! <laughs> uh, so are Sior and Darje on the inside now? Yes, I will be with you in just a second. Woohoo! 11 points. He's, he's off so sniffing you're, out. You're already, you're already two, point, two points shy now. I'll give him a cure light. I need him at full fighting force. He's got to go full force. And that's literally just, that's just literally think it's paranoia. <laughs> no, 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 it's just you must be healthy. <laughs> I can still give some blood. <laughs> Have a there paper cut. It's right. not acceptable. Yeah. Yes. Okay, fully healed. Can, can we have a, a, a quick discourse with, uh, um, uh, with Darjay while we're healing uh, him on, on what actually happened uh, uh, during the meeting? Because we don't really know, do we? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if we can talk while you're uh, Make it doing quick, your magic. Make it quick, because Sior has already headed into the, into yes. the town, and uh, Daje Daje actually... will give you more of an explanation. He must attend to the Lady Siora, but <laughs> this Ramestis, the one we killed, yes. he was, uh, he wants the Argosy and the beetles to be destroyed, taken care of. Okay. And Lala Rash is in on it. Right. Okay. Did he talk about where the beetles are for, or who they're going to, or...? Uh, Aglisties. Okay. But... Okay. Um, and then you turn and scamper off after Siora and into the winding streets of Fort Calvis once more. Um, so, yeah, locating Lalarash. Um, looking at your various skills here, 
given that you went off to off off after him almost immediately um siora if you can initially at least make me an observation check sure i i would also because um Daji is camouflaged um i would also be like calling out for him because presumably he still likes me i don't know Okay, so that's a fail on the observation check. Um, he's lost. You've lost sight of him in the market almost immediately. The only other option for you guys to track him down with any kind of ease is to use information gathering, um, which is Ooh, to spend a. That. Yeah, you both do actually, um, oh. which is to spend a small amount of money. Have you seen a slimy bastard walking around here? He looks like this, and he's slimy. Um, okay, I, so I, pass. I will do that. I see a pass on for that, Siora. Um, and where are we here? Uh, you will also need to fork out <laughs> an entire ceramic piece, um, well, to, uh, to just loosen one. A, a lip. I was gonna say loosen some lips, but that's probably only enough. For I one did lip, it. Actually. I did it. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know he can't be uh, he can't be far ahead, and by the time Darjay has caught up with you, uh, you have found a Cabra Melon merchant and just been like, "Look, have you seen a?" Well, I mean, describe him however you want to, but um, the merchant nods. Oh, fine, yes, and takes a ceramic piece and hands you a melon, um, at least to make the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the transaction seems somewhat legitimate. He's an honest trader. Uh, Dajo, this is how, as you catch up to Siora, um, she's standing in the marketplace. The guy has said um, he's headed up there and uh, went into uh, the uh, the Twin Moons boarding house on the far side. I saw him virtually running up the market a minute ago and Siora's nodding and she's holding a melon. I then run up to that boarding house. <laughs> I run after her. Okay. Um, the boarding house itself is uh, fairly well appointed. Uh, dark stained agafari wood floors. Um, uh, guard outside who holds up his hand as you, the pair of you come running up. Uh, you staying here? We are performers. This is Silver and Knight. We are performing. You sure? Most yes, definitely. Were you not told of us? I need a fast talk check to get through the door. Yep. Got it. Where is it? Rogue. I see your messages there, Thicket and Senex. It's in our proficiency, isn't rogue, I think. right? Yep, yep. No, you've oh, got, right. Um, oh, oh, yep. oh, oh, oh. I think Sura has it, but, but uh, Dante yeah. doesn't. Oh. oh. Yes, I'm no. thinking oh, of my mage character. Never yes, you mind. Are. <laughs> <laughs> Never yep. mind. Next week, um, yeah. going through, going through. Um, see the see the landlord is over there on uh, by the no on the left there. The uh, the guard wa <laughs> yeah the guard waves you through. Um, the uh, proprietor is uh, on, indeed on the left behind a large stained rosewood stained counter. Did I hear you saying something about uh, performers? I nod to Siora for her to go after him. Uh, yeah, I will. I will go after Lala Resh and leave Dajé with the <laughs> with the yes. performer guy. Okay, so there's a large common room. You can already see he's not in there. It must be. He must be have gone up the stairs. Please excuse my partner. She must get ready. We are here to perform. Yes, and I'm stalling him. You know, distracting him. I'm not sure we booked anybody, to be honest. Um, we don't need booking. My Daje manager. Comes. Sorry, go on. Daje oh. comes when he feels like it. Uh, our manager. Your guests will enjoy most tremendously. Our manager just ran ahead of us um, up the stairs. Can you tell me what room he booked in? Fast talk check for that, please. Oh, gosh. That's not good. Um, I don't think that person was your manager. So I think the pair of you need to just turn yourselves around. 
and go back into the streets before Look, uh, I have to have all the Tolaxa guards. I'll go get him to clear this up for you, and I just go upstairs. <laughs> Okay, okay, Dodge. Dodge, um, you need to find yes. something to distract him. Yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Right away. Uh-huh, money. <laughs> oh, really wanted you to be like dance, yeah. dancing. No. Okay. A uh, bargain. I have a bargain proficiency, right? Uh. Or a bribe. Right. Which which is more? Uh, yeah. You've actually got intimidation right. as well. I do actually. Which, mm, yeah, okay. You know what? I'm using intimidation. Okay. So you're gonna leap up onto the counter and frill him? No, I'm gonna leap up onto the counter, and the frills aren't gonna go out just yet. But I sort of crouch my head down, looking at him in a very reptilian way. Our manager will sort this out. Roll me intimidation, please. <laughs> oh, almost a perfect roll. That he takes a step back. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, okay. No, no need for this for the to get bitey. Do you have <laughs> any flies at our legs? Uh. In the in the kitchen. Bring. Uh, okay. He says, not quite sure why he's obeying. And Acceptable. How he's <laughs> <laughs> it makes him feel better. Sorry, and Dar Darje just sits on the edge of the counter now, like a cat. <laughs> It makes okay. him feel better. I left the melon on the counter, so he has that. Mm. <laughs> Sweet and savory. Siora, um, you reach the uh, the top corridor. Um, you can almost actually hear him muttering to himself from a couple of the doors down. Uh, one way or the other, he's probably guessed that pursuit is hot on his heels. Um, and you can actually, as you make your way down the hallway, you realize he's not muttering to himself. I need extraction right away, Tethrides. I don't care what it costs you. I'm going to be killed. Third door on the right. Um, does it sound like he's with someone or like he's talking to It does, through... but, there's, but there's no one answering. Okay. Um, I knock on the door. I... Yes, yes, who is it? L Lalarash, it's me, Siora. I have to go. I have to go, it's my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he opens the door. Thicket, you said you had gone to get your, uh, sorry, you said, <laughs> abrupt scene cut. You had said you were going to go and get your incense. Yes. Um, uh, by the way, yes, um, to answer that question, uh, uh, Chris, that is uh, a, a rule I stole from Pathfinder. I've just seen that in Twitch chat. Um, and I guess you start wafting it over a body? Yes. Uh, who who are you I, casting but, it on? Uh, the, uh, the mool with the fancy clothes. Uh, Ramsteys, okay. Yes. Yeah. But before I do that, I turn to the others who are still there. I can only ask two questions. Um, we need to make them count. Well, what do we want to, to know? I suppose we want to know where to go next, so where, where these things are going to be going at, right? We want to know what and... these beetles are for. Well, we know that they, they hamper sonic abilities so. and they're being used as such by all sorts of organizations right by uh, by by so perhaps where what is the end destination for these beetles i'm all i'm all ears mm -hmm. destination what, what is the ultimate goal of these beetles, perhaps? 
Yeah, but if and, he doesn't and, know, then then it's a wasted and, question. And, and who runs his operation? Maybe also a good question. Or maybe who is his boss? Yeah, of course. He, yeah. Who does he answer to? Yeah. Uh, who are your bosses? Maybe that's a good one. So if there's more, then he has more uh, to, 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 to give. But then he might generalize, like House Shom or something. Now, so what are the names of your bosses? Okay. Your boss or bosses? Is that one question? I guess. It is a new... It is... I'm... I, it is a, a new a new spell for me i that i that i have recently come to learn from the spirit so it is still beyond my grasp um so who are your bosses okay yes and the beetles are what what is the ultimate purpose of the beetles is that what we want to, what, is that what we want to find out we already know that they're being used to to attack uh, psychosis, right? Yes, but for, to what end? Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. or where? If we want to stop it, where are the where where are the beetles uh, coming from? Maybe that's also a good question. Mm -hmm. You can ask two questions and then that's it, right? Two questions, yes. Uh, where, where are the? Who, who is, who is uh, altering these beetles? Because if you ask where they come from, perhaps they would just say. From, from from nature or whatever, from yeah. Nature, exactly. yeah. The moon. Yes. yes. They might not say the moon. Actually, no, they might not say that. That seems a little unlikely. I know. <laughs> You're feeling left out. Um. Or maybe the question should be: Where are they altering the Beatles? Where? Are the... But at least we have a direction to go. What are to, they? You know? What are they called again? The the Beatles. The... Shakat, Shakat Beatles. Shakat. Beatles. Okay. So we have two, three options. Who are your bosses? What are you? What is the ultimate goal? Not goal, but purpose of the of the Beatles. And where are the Shakat Beatles being altered? Which ones are more important? I, I, I think the last one will if we go there it actually gives us a place where we can go yes uh the last one will actually also probably enable us to answer the, the second question when we get there presumably we will find out what they're being altered for once we find out where they're being altered okay makes sense right all right i uh start uh I... Suxis, do you want to help me? I can. Okay. Tell me what to do. Place these stones around the body, um, and on top of each stone, place one of these incense bricks. Mm -hmm. uh, light them. So Suxis follows. Uh... <coughs> uh, and then I, uh, I'll, I'll sit at one end of the by the head of the of the body, and and kind of. Brace the head with my hands. Yep. Um, and begin chanting for an entire turn. <laughs> okay. So that's a good ten minutes. I, I follow uh, Pickett's instructions to the letter. Mm -hmm. Okie dokes. Um, during this time, by the way, Senex, you have gone up and, and thoroughly searched the office. Um, he is, nothing has been destroyed, but there's nothing in addition. Um, other than the uh, the letter that you've already discovered and the tray, the um, uh, uh, strong box, strong box that you weren't able to get into. Okay, I take that strong box and take. Well, basically, I just take anything written in there, and the one that we know that I copied from, I make sure that's scrolled up and safe. Yeah, 
Okay. Thicket then, your chanting ensues, and from out of Ramesty's Shom's dead face comes a shimmering gray mask that lairs itself over his corpse. Targets who are of a higher level than the caster receive a saving throw. Mm -hmm. Ramesty's Shom, however... Where are we? He's only fourth level. Yay! And doesn't get a save. <gasps> Coy! I, uh... Look at him and I ask... I, I, as I'm holding his head, I say, I'm the one answering, asking the questions. <laughs> Who or what are the names of your bosses? Agristes Tethrade. Where are the Shakat beetles being altered to their current state? Call it me. And with that, the vapor vanishes. Before I, before um, I snuff the incense, I uh, give him a final rite of passage into the grey blessing him with the spirit of the land very kind given what you just put him through hey man I'm hey man don't judge me Siora yes sir <laughs> as I say he opens his door What are you doing here? My ex-companions, uh, they just started fighting these uh, giants. I don't, I don't really know what's going on, but then they, they left, they fled. And, and then I didn't know where you were, and I was worried that you weren't okay. So I, I was asking people in the market, and they said that you were here, and I'm just really glad you're okay, and I go to hug him. Okay, are you making this part of a perfect lie? I am indeed. Okay. <clears throat> you can see him, you can see his brain going, <laughs> Lalarash, for God's sake, come to your senses. But other parts of his body have taken command now, and he returns the hug eagerly. I, I can't believe you came looking for me. I, you have no idea what that means. We have to get out of here. I, I have sent for... I, I, I mean... Can I trust you? Of course. Someone will be coming soon to take me away. And I, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to persuade him. I'm, go, I'm, I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him that he has to listen to me and that you have to come as well. Where, where is he taking us? Away from here. It's not safe here anymore. You're right. Your companions have turned against House Chirodius. I can't believe you've done this. You're but only I witnessed safe it for myself now. now. You did. You did. You saw it yourself. Yes. And you must. And you must believe what you saw. You must believe it. I do. Well, the, the Argus, they, they left it, and, and the, the guards don't know what to do without your leadership. What do we do about the Argosy? They've left the Argosy? Well, they fled. There's something I... 
We should go back to the Argosy. There's, um, I have left valuables in my cabin. They will, they will be necessary to us. If, if we are to start a new life, we will, we will need something to build that life on. He takes you by your shoulders. You understand, don't you? You want to build a life with me? That's all I've wanted since I laid eyes on you, Siora. Oh, and they kiss. <laughs> <laughs> she he's takes a, his hand. He's a terrible kisser, but okay. She takes his hand and she's like, okay, let's go. Let's start a new life. <laughs> oh my God. He uh, grabs his belongings, um, sweeps them off the bed, pulls his cloak around himself, puts his arm around you. It's going to be fine. You know that, yes? You're with me yes. now. It's going to be fine. And you'll protect me. As I have since the beginning. Yes. <laughs> and we... so full of it. <laughs> <laughs> Darje, you can hear them coming down the stairs. Okay, so... I scuttle underneath the bar. Okay, are you taking the me. are you taking the melon? Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not Obviously, on its own, but it's, it's your melon. So, okay. All right, uh, you drop out of sight with the melon, um, just as uh, Sior and Lalarash hurry past. He appears to be in considerable state of agitation, looking around himself. Pulled his hood up. You you should you should conceal yourself. There are unfriendly eyes everywhere in Fort Calvis this night. Oh, you're right, and I look to something to cover myself. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Here, I will give you my cloak. And he actually takes it off, puts puts the hood over you, wraps it up. Yeah. You'll, oh. you'll be safe that way. Thank you. Are you following them, Danje? Is the sky blue? No, it's green, but okay. Oh, okay. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> guess, guess you're staying there then. Yeah, no, I'm. Yep. <laughs> and I will. Shit, wrong world. <laughs> when Siora is like leading him back to the Argosy, I am like semi running. Like she is like, yes, let's quickly make our escape and get to the Argosy, get our things and leave. Like she doesn't want there to be a chance is... for someone to get to him. He's totally bought into it. Um, just as long as I retrieve um, my, my chest from my cabin, then that's all we'll need. And then this whole horrible, horrible situation can be behind us. I, 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 I am so glad you came to find me. I'm so, I, 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 I was hoping you would. I'm, I'm so glad that you did. The elements have blessed us. They've, they've blessed us, Siora. I truly have. So um, in the meantime of the Argosy, by the way, is there anything that you guys want to be doing? I'm eating the body. Do you're you're. you're <laughs> I, quite want. I mean, you know, it's. Hey, you could. Um, it's good meat. Yeah. Blessing makes it taste better. <laughs> <laughs> Smoked it. Um, I uh, I guess I'll just go back inside the Argosy. Okay. Out of the, out of the sun. Do we know uh, that? Uh, do we know that he's coming? You do Lara not know Ashton. he's coming. No. I said I was. I said I was going to try and. Oh, did bring you? I didn't. Back. Ca- oh, I see. I there's think, some, mess- so, some messages there. Yeah. And I feel like I, I can't remember who said, but someone was like, "No, don't do it." And then I just went and did it anyway. So I can't remember who okay. said it. <laughs> so you. All right. You don't know. So yeah. Maybe. If, maybe yes. Maybe no. So if Siora is successful in her endeavors, perhaps we should wait. Uh, hide. I know exactly what to do. We should move the bodies. I can't, move. I can't move. Well, the guard, I should point out that the, the caravan guards will already be doing that. Okay. Putting them to one side, um, stacking them up. The general consensus is they're going to burn them um, to make sure they don't turn into undead or banshees or daots or tlizzes or kaishaga or any number of equally improbable possibilities that are being mooted around the campfire. Okay, then Zuxis uh, directs them to do that around the, on the other side of the of the Argos, out of sight okay. of the entrance. You're the captain. Yes. 
All right. I can, I can create a pit to dump them. In. Oh no, that won't work because they'll just be they'll just be disgorged once this spell ends. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's not very useful. And if, and if you put more than five bodies in the pit, <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be it'll be like sometime later. So at some point, it'll just randomly <laughs> blow up. <laughs> okay, so I guess you guys are are, are relatively, relatively out of sight unless you wish to not be Scathis. Uh, no, I've, uh, I've actually just messaged you. Mark Scathis will be going inside with everyone else, although he's going to go get something first. Ah, oh, okay. Was that in Discord? Because I've turned my Discord off. Oh, yes. Uh, let me message you elsewhere. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I am going to wait for, obviously, for him to get closer. And then as soon as he raises any suspicion, I will do a sensory impression on him. Hmm. Okay. So, Siora and Lalarash, you emerge from the gates of... Oh, God. Okay, I've just seen your message. <laughs> you emerge from the gates of Fort Calvis with Darje scurrying along behind you. Melon clutched firmly beneath his little lizardy arms and uh, hurry across the intervening ground toward the Argosy. With the sun gone down, the entire area is limbed in shadow. No details can be seen of uh, what lies there or uh, what lies ahead. You wear this cloak just in case they spot you, because they'll want you to stay. They, want to, they won't want to lose their leader. Um... No, it's it, it's fine. It's fine. I am their leader. They should see me. Okay. And it's because of this as he strides up um, that some of the guards are like, the hell are you doing here? I'm like behind him going like. The guards look to you, Siora, look back to Lalarash, and uh, then halt at Fen strides down the ramp. Well, look who came crawling back. Lada Rash stares up at him. Stand aside, Fen. Stand aside, and there'll be no further consequences for you. We will only be here for just a moment. Okay, that's going to absolutely need a fast talk roll just to see if Foothold at Fenn. Have you not seen Guardians of the Galaxy? Understand what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> what is oh. wrong with your eye? <laughs> I got a, I got a one. That's good, right? Uh, okay, so, yeah, yes, yeah, that's the, uh, the, um, the, the clumsy but appropriate uh, um, outcome. Oh, oh, I see. No, go ahead, <laughs> Captain. It's a, it's a, it's a miracle, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh my god! Welcome back, Captain. <laughs> well, he's going to give a, he's going to give away the plot just with his <laughs> weird reaction. But nevertheless, Lalarash hurries indoors, padding through the darkness, making his way up to the top deck very, very quickly. Whereabouts are you guys waiting for him inside, by the way? Because I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. I'm going to sit in his chair in his office. I'll be uh, waiting. Wait, I'll be waiting in Siora's uh, bedroom. The hallway. Walking, walking behind him. Scathis? Uh, um, I don't know. I'll be hiding with someone else, I guess. Some, somewhere where I can uh, come in from behind everyone else. So I, in Siora's Siora's room, bedroom, probably. yeah. Yeah, it's yours better than yeah. Okay. So, yeah, he oh. hurries. Sorry, I'll be he... in the, the bedroom with, with um, it's yours better. Yeah, okay. So really only Senex then is sitting in his in his chair. Okay, so he, you can hear him hurrying up the uh, up the hallway. And actually, there are, those of you who are in hiding can hear him. Right, quickly, quickly, quickly. We need to be out of here. There's something not right. I, I'm, I'm, uh, halt it, suspect something. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, There's something can... weird going on. Do you, do you have a weapon I can use just in case they come in? Hmm? Oh, uh, yes, yes, here, of course. 
and he pulls and hands you a steel dagger. Wonderful. <laughs> Strides into the room and then sees Senex sitting there. Good evening, Lalarush. What are you doing here? Well, Siora, what, what? You said you said they'd left. You said he'd left. Take a seat. I will do no such thing. Sit the fuck down, Lalarush. <laughs> what? I hold this the steel <laughs> the blade. <laughs> Sit down. Um, what? Don't make me go and get the half giant. Or Scathis, even worse. Oh, do the rest of us know? Can we come in? Yeah, you can you all hear us, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dalje appears in the hallway. What? Uh, wait, wait, what? Scathis will step into the room behind, and uh, he holds up his hand. Ooh. And pulls taut the same whip that oh. he was seen use, using earlier. And his face, normally so grim and serious, has now curled into this sneering grin as he sets his eyes on Lalarash. Whether Lalarash wants to or not, his legs decide he's going to sit down. And he collapses into a nearby chair. How embarrassing oh. for you, in a puddle of your own making. Oh. Oh, oh. Um. Can I tie him to the chair? Lady Carodius is going to enjoy speaking to you. No, 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 you don't understand. Um, um, look, um, we can, um, the, the strong box. The, um, where's, where's my strong box? Yeah, we already um, got that. Well, 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 you, you, um, you have everything that's in there. And we go. <laughs> someone's <laughs> planning. Someone's planning to distract him soon. Called Tethrides, <sighs> presumably back in the tavern in the city walls. But I'm not sure how it works exactly. It's one, one of, of its bosses. bosses. Yeah. No. How, how did he? How did you know this? Your, he tell you. Oh, I've overheard him talking to something, muttering to himself in his room. Presumably he has some kind of communications thing. I don't know. What do you have? An orb? Is that let's, uh, ring a bell for get, me, Mark? Let's get everything out Olivine. of him. Yora! No! <laughs> oh, now, if you behave well, Lalarash, you may receive your lashes on the back instead of the chest. I don't want to die! <laughs> oh my god. Yes. I'll take his key off of him. Okay. Yeah, and uh, strip him of any of his uh, his possessions. All right. Yeah. Is there anything, I have... anything that gives us a hint of further... Uh, no, he ha his. I mean, most of his actual possessions are in his in the bag that he's been carrying around. Mm -hmm. um, some clothes, a few personal trinkets, a little bit of money. Um, there's nothing particularly incriminating on him. Uh, he's at least been intelligent enough for that. Do you have the one thing that points toward how strong they're not going to send him with a, you know, an instruction manual or no, something on exactly. the covert Does mission? Does he have any items on him that could be construed as a um, communication? Yeah, sending stone. Yeah. Yeah, he's got an olivine around his neck. Yeah. Oh, we'll take that off him straight away. Lady Corodius will want this, I'm sure. Man. Yes. <laughs> Can't we come to some kind of arrangement? That's, Please? That's not for us to decide. Our employer will decide that. You have made a very sad bed. But what you could do, though, is confess and come clean and tell us everything we need to know, and we will be sure to let Carodius know how Which willing you were and yes. how, cooper how cooperative you were. Yeah, if you give us the answers, we'll give you the antidote. He stares at Siora for a few minutes, just 
complete disbelief on his face, slowly, bless his poor little heart, finally being replaced by realization. Bless his heart? He's a monster! <laughs> <laughs> bless his poor little misguided soul! Yes. Uh, if nothing else, let me it's... Have him. If nothing else, it is the complete change in Sura's voice that makes it clear to him what a fool he's been. At least let me soften him up before you ask questions. Up by all means. And then... He can confess while he's taking a whipping. I'd quite like okay. to see that. I can heal you afterwards. <laughs> what, you know, I, I'll tell I you can make you this want to know. go I'll, all day. <laughs> I'll tell you whatever you need. I don't, I don't want to whip. I'll start with his back. We'll turn him around if he lies. Well, Speak, start, and I will start, start writing down his confession. And the, the other two names of the captain guards that he was talking about as well. Everything, anything and everything to do with this. Well... Okay, okay, okay. But but please, please, you don't have to whip me. I'll just tell you. I'll, I will. I'll just tell you. Uh, um, uh, uh, House Shom offered me and Halos and Fadaru money, um, gold, um, to 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 turn a, a blind eye to smuggling of shakat beetles, and the. They're brought onto the caravans um, in Altaruk and in Ibane, uh, at, at both ends and moved around the tablelands and sold to people by Haosham. Um And, and um, they, 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 they come, I think, from, I think from Galidne, um, but that's a ruin and I don't know why they come from there. Um, and. And I think they were, they, I, I thought they were just being used to, to, uh, to make money for House Shom and to, to make House Corodius look bad. But I think there's something else. There's, they've been, they've been talking about some kind of destabilization um, that, they're, that they're planning. And, and, and then there was the rods. <laughs> the rods? They sent in the land to get the rods, but he went rogue. He, something happened to his mind, and they lost them. The elves have them now, and they um, they're really upset about that. And I think the beetles were connected to that somehow, but I don't. Who I don't lost know. his mind? Caradal, the Alan. He's supposed to get some magic or psionic rods that belong to some. Some order of scientists. I don't know what they're called, and um, but he he never returned with them, and they they uh, he went mad. He, he was behind what was happening at Outpost Three. Remember, remember what we went through together. Remember what happened to well, the rest was... of the people there. I didn't see any survivors. Did you just buy your life, or? Well, there was. Only myself and two guards left after the elves killed Golgoroth. They, they, they made it back to Nibane with me. They did. I swear they did. They, I swear they did. That's all I know. I need you to give us every name, every leading point, every Argosy, every cargo, every location that you're aware of, and I need you to write it all down. How many beetles she smuggled? How many beetles? Everything. The three Argosies, the Hesper, the Pirates, and the Amketch. And each one carries about 30 beetles. Uh, some survive, some don't, but that's uh, that's roughly what it is. What are they and, doing with the beetles? Well, they, they're selling them. To do what? I think it's to interfere with psionics. Yes. They got the idea from what happened last year. They put something in the beetles that they and they they bite people, but they can be they can be targeted. The thing that happened last year affected everyone. But you can put a beetle in someone's bed and it bites them and it messes with their control of the way. So they can be used to target specific 
mind benders. And that's what I thought they were for. But and then I heard Tethrides and Agrestes talking about about large scale destabilization. I think they're planning something worse. Mm -hmm. And I think the rods had something to do with it. But yeah, and but now the, the te elves have those. Tethrides so and Agrides, and they are who are they? Agrestes is a senior agent of House Shom. He's Ramesty's superior. Tethrides is Tethrides is a defiler. He's a powerful one. He's also from House Shom. I think so. And I he's think he's the from... one you've called here. I think. He should be here by now. He should have come to rescue me. Where is he? Why hasn't he come? Because you're not that important. <laughs> <laughs> Scathis, can you make him shut up? Scathis cracks the whip. Enough <laughs> sniveling! Sorry. He's getting under my scales. I didn't know it was going to turn out like this. You cry anymore, Dodge will eat your eyes. Well, they'd be nice and juicy after all the crying. Yes. You can see him really, like, with every little ounce of strength that's still left to him, fighting back the urge to shed even a single tear. You put him in, uh, in holding somewhere. Um, I, well, I th don't, don't we have everything we need? How would Tethrides track you? You called him at the inn, is he not going to head there? With the Olivine. They will be tracking you on the Olivine. Try this thing. This yeah. box, I look at his thing, is it like lead? A wooden box. It's a wooden box. Wooden strong box. Is there any way we can stop this signal being found? I don't know. I don't think so. Apart from destroying it. It's not magic, it's Sionix. Another thing. The Outriders. The Half-Elf. They work for you. Do they know about this? A Razo? No. So only... Dalgra. Dalgra works for you. Yes, I, I... I... You bribed him, yes, we know. I had to. Well. Could have paid him more. Yeah. Can I... If I... Any way of suppressing this Olivine thing, studying it, turning it off or whatever? No. No. I mean, there are powers that could do that, but they're way beyond you. Yeah. Synaptic okay. fields and things like that. We, okay. we can. We get. We, we tie it. We, we 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 put a cloth around it. We tie it around the bird, and we send the bird flying. That's it. End the story. Let him track that. Right. Yeah. Not yeah. a bad Unless, idea. Unless Corridius want is wants this, I don't know. No. It is going to give them a way to track. Yeah. Exactly. True. And that puts us in danger. And him? Do we give him to Carodius? Yes. Oh, yeah. he goes to Carodius alive. Yes. That is a shame. Don't worry, Darje. We can have fun with him while he's with us. Hmm. What? I uh, start tying him up. He's already tied up. Oh, he is? Okay. Yes. Uh, work fast. Sure, uh, works very fast, yes. <laughs> She's like, I'm practiced in the knot work. She, she, can, she can do it with one hand and blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we quickly get rid of this olivine thing, send it off somewhere. Yeah, straight, straight, away, straight away. Yeah, that's fine. We can assume that's done. Get my I even, yeah. God, off it goes, yeah. Either that or I tell my lizard to run it as far as he can. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> 
They all have been disposed of. Lala Rashi is placed where? In uh, secure holding? Yes. Mm -hmm. You could lock him in the, the storage locker. Mm -hmm. With the Beatles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. Yes. No, but then he, he, he can he can maybe kill them or do something. I, well, look, yeah, at least I, we, don't, we won't have to feed them, you know? They feed I really want him either in his room or in my room purely because I worry about him bribing someone to let him out. That, that that half elf is shady. I feel like he would take we money. We can have someone on guard. We could have Scathis on guard or someone. Yeah, something hey, like true. that. So, or Captain Fanny. I, I I have a que question. Why are we continuing on this on this this thing here? We don't that's, need to anymore. That's the question. I thought we could just turn around here. Yeah, we kind of need to just head home. We should let the Argosy go on its way and do its trading. Okay. And well, I think we, have... we should go home to Kirodias and bring all, all, all that we have. Well, Kyrodis wanted us home. to put a stop to it, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, but that, that, that stop yes. is, to, is, to, is to put it, and we have to put it, that stop in Kaladne. This, this, this Ar Argosy is not going to Kaladne, is it? It's just trading those beetles to and fro. That's what, what, it's, what it's doing. We True. need to go to the, the, the source where they're actually making those beetles. That's what we need to stop. Yeah, we that's could go... That's, that's not with go, his Argosy. Go back to Nibane and then go to... Yeah, is Kyrodius going to think of it that way, though? Well, I think that's the logical way of thinking it. Hmm. Does she have other cargo on this Argosy? Is she going to be mad that we didn't deliver the rest of her cargo? She absolutely does. Yes. Yeah, she's going to be mad she's if we if we it. don't. Yeah, she's going to be mad if we don't deliver. No, but that's not up to us. She has she has a competent uh, set of guards uh, between. But there's no captain. Fen, yes. Well, then we make another captain. Who? One of the slaves? One? No. Uh, they're, they're, there are there are uh, there isn't anyone else. There's got, you got the half. You, you've got, the you've half, got half, half, half Yeah. Why not? He's competent. Really? He knows what he's doing. Really? And you need, do you, they need to. Do you they, trust, they need, you, who's to say that he's not going to run off with the with the Argosy? Competent is a strong word. Yes. Uh, are, you halted, are you talking about halted Finn? As the captain of the Argosy. <laughs> yeah. I, so we have I to... understand your eagerness to return, but yeah, I, 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 I think I think in Altruk we're only going to meet uh, unpleasantness. This is what I'm thinking. Fen can't even control the Outriders. I'm, 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 I'm afraid that, you know, unless one of us goes back to Nibane, how about all of you go back to Nibane? And you, and you do what? You stay on the. I, I stay in Captain this thing. Or, Dodge goes back no, but you have, to, you, have to, you have to take Lalarash with you so that's going to be complicated it's better that you guys go with, in, with a group of kanks and you go as a, as a, as a convoy then but if, if we go to Alteruk this is where House Shom is going to be waiting for us Lalarash is Karodius going to be back in Nibane if we go there I, I don't think so where will she be I don't know. Gulg? Tia? Balak? So she wouldn't even be in Nibane. There's no point going back. Okay. Do you have a certain way of contacting her? No. Look, my, my concern here is that now we're in control of the situation at this particular point. We go to Alteruk, we lose that control. And uh, Ashom will be there waiting for its cargo, and it will be able to, to be there with a lot of muscle. Um, if they even find out what happened here, they will be prepared. So they have prepared muscle. Why don't we, we just we, give them the beetles? We might go, get into, into, into trouble. Well, because this one here has blabbed to their boss. That's why we, we can't play the charades anymore. Well, we Is could we... all hide on, on the Argosy. They guards the half giant they just traveled on their own okay is this argosy going trade? to be safe traveling down there are we expecting an attack from our i don't know i'm not necessarily in other words did darjay pass on that information well yeah well ramestes yeah he said that he was gonna destroy yeah. the argosy but then we killed him so i don't think we had time to Ramesses didn't had this, and most certainly did not have time to tell anybody anything. 
No, and he didn't have an olivine, so he didn't he couldn't communicate it with anybody, right? Correct. No. Unless we get Lalaresh to what? use the olivine one last time to tell them extraction isn't necessary and to go ahead as planned. That's a good one. I the like olivine one. is on a bird somewhere now. Yeah. Uh, oh, we've already uh, sent it. Uh, yes. Yeah, Bring it back. <laughs> Tell it to I come back. I did, I did the bird thing and the caca noise and everything. Yeah, no, 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 it's flown. That bird has flown. <laughs> that bird has flown. <laughs> but, but, but did Lalarash... What did Lalarash say to... Through the olivine to his boss? <laughs> that he's about to be murdered and he needs an extension. Help! help. <laughs> that was it? Nothing else? He you guys! A, help! He was yeah. being a whiny bitch is what he was doing. Yeah. As per usual, classic Lala Rush. What's in classic his uh, Lala Rush. What's in his lockbox, Mark? All these horrible jibes do. What's in his lockbox? Yeah. Uh ten silver trade bars, each worth fifteen silver pieces, stamped with the triple dragonfly emblem of House Shong. Is, is it ten or thirty? Ten. Oh. So worth that's... 15 silver each, 150 silver pieces, so 1,500 ceramic pieces worth. 30 silver uh, pieces worth. It's too good to go, I suppose. So tell us, Lalaresh, on this rest of this journey, what is the plan? What would you have done if you have continued successfully? Well, um, th th thank you, Sura, for, for asking me. Um, we Don't... would... Don't say my name ever again. Oh. <laughs> if you need a new lover, I'm sure Scathis might be interested. I, I look really confused. Don't be ridiculous. Us. We, we would proceed. We would rupture after the first thrust. We would proceed to Alterok, and there the transfer of the beetles would take place. The rest of the trade goods would be sold at the market, and we would take on board new beetles if there were any prepared, and return to Nibine, or just simply return to Nibine, and then business would continue as, as, as per normal. And before I arrived, what were you saying to Tethrides? Anything else? Any extra information? That I was certain our stash had been recovered and that I feared for my life <clears throat> and that Ramistees had been almost certainly killed and that he was to come and get me using his magics, but, but he never came. Well then, why would they be expecting us to actually arrive at the location if they think their stash has already been compromised? Be a waste of a trip for them, don't you think? What, what else are we carrying? Short swords? What else? I go through all of the uh, cargo list in um, the sheets. Yeah. Uh, and where they cocaine. need to be delivered. <laughs> yeah, There's cocaine here. Where's this been? <laughs> so <Though> there's um, <laughs> 5,000 uh, pounds of grain, uh, 20 bushels of oranges, uh, 3,000 feet of, uh, of rope, um, over a hundred uh, Erdlu Claw daggers, hundred right. obsidian headed arrows, um, God, uh, well over 125 gallons of lamp oil, Jeez. 40 gallons of wine, 600 pounds of kip leather, 200 pounds of kank chitin <clears throat> in the secure area, 20 bolts of silk, uh, six steel short swords, uh, 16 two ounce jars of rare spices, um, over 125 pounds of rice paper. What kind of what kind of rope are we talking about? Giant hair. 
Answer, answer me this. Herodias don't play. Uh, riddle me this, uh, Lalarash. These short swords and these silk ones that are classed as special here that are down on this paperwork that you've mentioned. Does Lady Corodius know about this? Yes. They're her prime cargo. That's what she's going to be making her most profit on. Okay, good. I didn't know if that was going to be secret cargo that you were bringing on board yourself. So the other part, the secret part is just the Beatles, correct? Yes, just the Beatles, that's correct. I sense any lie there or anything. Uh, how would you do that? I am very intelligent. Uh-huh. There's some... Um... <sighs> Look. I am there's wise. always, There's always the chance that we can make a deal. I can, I, I can smooth things over with Agrestes once we get to Alteruk, and um, I can persuade him to cut you in on a percentage. Hmm? Look, we're here to do a job for Corodius. The last thing I want to do is backtrack and betray that like you have. He'll pay you more than she's paying you. I care little for coin. Look at me. Why would I want coin? The others maybe, yes. But that is their I choice. Also th I also think you overestimate your charisma. Also, I dress in mud, I don't really need money. It's not about uh, seducing us, it's about seducing uh, your former bosses. They want to, uh, they will want to shut this down. And make sure that there's no witnesses. So you're the first to go, and then they will come for us. They failed the first time, but make sure the next time they will not make that mistake. So, are we decided to go for Alteruk then and meet our uh, fate? I really feel choice. like we have a choice. Yeah. Okay. I, I promise you, I can I, I can argue on your behalf. Hmm. Sorry. No. <clears throat> You've lost our confidence. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, um, I think we should probably gag him. I have one more thing I'd like to do before we do that. Shall we just kill him? We need him alive. We need him alive. Do we though? Can I? Can I find the poison that he poisoned Sierra with? Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I have some. It? If you want some. If it won't kill him, I want to have him drink no, it, it, it and just sit with it. Uh, would it not kill him? Well, mine might. I don't know. I think mine does a wit a bit more damage. <laughs> Yours and, the, and, the one that felled all those... those yeah. Yeah. And, that's, and, and he is a quite a wimpish specimen, isn't he? So That's it, true. Maybe what, I shouldn't. What, what doesn't kill you might kill him. You never know. <laughs> sure, I'll just do some light torture instead. That's fine. Oh, involve me. <laughs> yeah, of course. You're 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 in with it. We will have turns. We'll take turns. Um, I think we should tie him up. I I'm gonna ego. Break. I want to ego whip him to see if I can stun him. Just to determine what if he's within that range. And the cap is four hit dice. Four hit dice. Okay, maybe they roll. Yeah. No, his mind resists. <clears throat> Interesting. Does that mean he has psionics? No, is his mind open? Yes. Mm. What else did you do in the past, Lana Rush? That's about your past. Well, I'm a trader. I'm... Enough of this. Scat has whipped him. <laughs> <laughs> and that, you can see him fighting the urge to to her uh, to to avoid crying, but he he can't. The sting of the whip is too much. His head just hangs, and he sobs, completely broken. Once, once Scathis has whipped him to an inch of his life, 
I am going to heal him. And let Scathis do it again. Oh, am I to keep whipping him? Corrupting think... Thicket! We're corrupting Thicket! So he's tied against the chair with his front facing us, right? So this yes. would be frontal whipping. Yes. Yeah. Full frontal whipping, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Scathim gives another lash and immediately, just like, his left nipple is gone. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! More screaming and more crying. Sooks is uh, kind of loses interest in uh, at this point and uh, bothers about um, and gets ready to do uh, other stuff. I just want to lean into his ear after a whip and just say, you know, I would have showed you mercy if you hadn't have poisoned me. You can do it again. Who has another one? Sarah J, I should point out though, just while you're away from the camera there, Scathis has started whipping him, and despite his best intentions, he's now sobbing. Oh no. Are you making good on your threats to eat his eyes? I can't believe I'm asking that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, let's Sarah leave him. will just be thoughts. sitting, watching. I think he doesn't he doesn't need to make his point across. Yeah, it shouldn't take too many lashes before Figget needs to heal him. My understanding of how lashing works is that if you do it from the front rather than the back, uh people tend not to survive as long. I will take your word on that. Um... Are you worried, pa <laughs> Panda, are you worried? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Thicket, Why do you know this? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, uh, Thicket, it's not too long before um, the the front of Lalarash's torso is reduced to a mass of ragged flesh and blood. I'll heal him to... Uh... Oh, let's see. I'll... They are the baddies, Osiris. <laughs> yeah, we've been saying this. I'm sorry, we're, guys. We're the you know bad how guys we were season. heroes last time and we were defeating dragons and shit? No. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna give him a, a cure light. This group would probably side with the order, you know. This ain't no place for no hero. No. The, the, yeah. <laughs> They'd probably be like, huh, oh, cool name, guys. <laughs> They'd like it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, yes, you restore his health to him, and he looks up at you, a, a mingling of relief on his face, uh, and then horror as he realizes this just means that it can start all over again. Is there um, at this point, like I'll just us? walk away. Okay. And leave him to uh, Scathis's ministrations. What did you say in there, uh, Scathis? Is there anything else you would like to tell us? His head hangs in utter silence. It does not feel as good to be down here while I am whipping a man, does it? No. Oh. There. Are you going to kill me? Scathis, Scathis thinks for a moment, then looks around at everyone. Do we need him? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Do we, we do. need him in one piece? Well, Herodias would prefer it. Although... Mm. Killing him might be a blessing. I don't know. I look the, at that lady and um, she scares me. Daje thinks, unfortunately, this is not for us to decide. You will live for now. Again in his face, that awful mingling of hope and horror. 
the desire to retain his life is overwhelming. And yet the terror, the terror that he knows what will follow for as long as he remains alive. He has no more tears, save one solitary one that rolls down his cheek. His eyes are haunted with regret. Regret is not even close to what he's feeling. The utter and completely crushing realization that there's only one person to blame for what has happened to him. And that's Lalarash. Yeah, we're totally not to blame here. Not at all. Not one bit. Thanks for saying that, DM. Ah, uh, my my guilt. I have uh, my clear conscience. I, yep. I don't feel, feel so good. Horse. <laughs> Sook just doesn't really care. No. <laughs> right. So there, the camera. I think will pull back from the Argosy with the occasional sound of the cracking of the whip and the screams of a man who is doomed, doomed to live. Pulls back over the intervening ground where the sand is still stained with blood. Oh, and Siora's laughter I see in chat here. This is well good. Where the sand is still stained with blood to a solitary figure standing on the walls. A cloak tattered and hanging around him. An olivine clutched in his hand. His face is hidden beneath a bronze mask. But about him hangs the corruption of defiling sorcery. He closes his fist over the olivine. And a low and slow and cruel smile spreads across his face and he turns and disappears into the shadows of Fort Calvis. We will learn more about him next session. <laughs>